Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show today. This is Comics News Today for the 24th of January, 2022. Time is definitely flying. Glad you guys are here. I am alive, which is good. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've had a very adventurous past three, four days. Uh, and uh, lots and lots and lots of things happened. Uh, but uh, we'll get into that. How are you guys doing? Well. Well. I'm swell. Oh, you're swell. Oh, oh when you said well, I was expecting <laughs> something I, I else. I thought there was a follow-up. Uh, <laughs> and how about you, Rabbit? How you doing, man? I'm, I'm tired, you know, from recording all day. Yeah, Other that's that, true. I'm You've good. been doing a lot of that. And, uh, they, you know, I, they, they, they really should bring back that uh, the, the uh, thumbs down button. They really don't like that now. Uh, but anyway, cool. I'm going over here and sharing. Hopefully you guys do the same thing. Uh, so let me see here. Join us live. Very simple. All righty. So, uh, as you guys know, I had myself uh, a weekend. And, you know, I, I've been through many, many, many uh, uh, earthquakes. It's a very normal thing here. It happens all the time. Uh, you get kind of jaded to it, I'd say. Uh, but uh, on, I think it was, it, well, I guess it was technically Saturday morning, but uh, Friday night. Uh, we had uh, the biggest earthquake I've ever experienced. Um, I've driven into uh, uh, earthquake, uh, ongoing earthquakes that had had bigger things happen, uh, but uh, a bigger earthquake. But uh, as far as experience, and the main reason, it was only a 6.4, which well, I say only, that is pretty big. Uh, California would lose their shit over that. Uh, but uh, for us, that's not really that big. But the problem was it was directly under my goddamn house. That's the problem. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. And uh, who doggies, man. Uh, I, like I said, I've been through many, many, many earthquakes. Uh, but uh, that I thought for sure this building was coming down, dude. I thought for sure. I went and I checked every beam and everything in this, uh, in this uh, compound, though. And nothing is damaged as far as the this old 140-year-old house. It's absolutely nice. cherry. Uh, my stairwell popped uh, in the front, uh, in the front, not a stairwell, but my stairs at the front of the uh, house, uh, mm -hmm. and the walkway popped. I'm going to have to reset all that. And uh, I had a beam in the post barn, uh, uh, literally split all the way up. Uh, I went in this weekend and had to build some um, uh, temporary uh, frame jacks uh, to, you know, keep make sure that wall doesn't collapse. Uh, I had to build a, a, a st set of stairs in the front of the house too this weekend to go cover over that uh, stone damage. Uh, I had a little car, which I don't have a license for. I just use it to drive around the property and kind of move stuff around. It's like a little teeny truck. Well, I mean, a little Japanese truck. I have no idea yeah. how this happened, but every window in it shattered. <laughs> Okay. So I don't understand. I, I I mean, I spent I spent like two three hundred bucks for it. So who cares? Because uh, I just use it on property, right? I, I don't take it on the street. Uh, but uh, I don't understand how that happened. Uh, all my other vehicles are were fine, uh, no damage. But that one shattered. Uh, my boat, you uh, rabbit was just mentioning, but <clears throat> my boat. Um, uh, I went to course to check that after, uh, and um, once I knew everything here was fine. And uh, the I have a, a, a row of uh, eight, four on each side uh, of those kind of um, boat jacks. I don't know if you've ever seen them, um, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, it's out of the water right now. Uh, it's dry docked. Uh, but uh, one of the front one on the uh, port side uh, had uh, collapsed and was down, uh, but it didn't it didn't fall. Uh, so that's great. Uh, I had to go and uh, uh, use a, a dockyard crane and lift the boat a little bit and reset everything, but uh, it's all good. So I had no damage to the boat. Uh, so basically for me, just like every piece of glass I own, uh, windows, truck windows, uh, a uh, stone stairwell and walkway and a post, uh, a post barn uh, beam is my... Uh, my expenditures interesting yeah 
Yeah. So it was uh, it was pretty interesting. I, I, I know Rabbit has said he's been through a little teeny earthquake. Have you ever experienced one, Thundero? Yes. Uh, occasionally, and by occasionally, I mean maybe once every five or ten years, we'll get mini quakes here. Uh, they don't really know why, but usually they're actually to the east, and we just get the sh- the tremors of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but nothing like it. I don't even think it really registers on, on the scale. Dude. It could be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, every every so often we'll get a mini. Nothing like the walls barely even shake anything off or anything, right. but you can feel it. Oh no! But that's about it. I've never been in anything major because I live in a sane part of the world where we have sane weather, (laughs) and the ground itself does not shake to try and destroy us. Well, because we're not supposed to be there, like in Japan. Yeah, no, that's (sighs) fair. Uh, Mother Nature wants you dead. Uh, But uh, uh, but the thing that was interesting about it was, you know, uh, I noticed immediately because you know for us, you know, we get these all the time. So you kind of just sit there and just pay attention. You know, all right, it's shaking. Uh, but it started getting real bad real quick. So I actually stood, which is something I never usually do. Uh, and then the entire room lifted. Um, uh, I, maybe I did too, for all I know. Uh, but um, because I noticed immediately it was moving east-west. It was an east-west shake. But it was also moving up-down at the same time. And I think that's why it was so violent. Because it was pretty shallow. It was only 40 kilometers deep, which I know sounds like a lot. But it's it's not. That's pretty shallow. Uh, it's not it's not crazy shallow like uh, um, you know some of the real bad ones in history were, but that's not good. Uh, but um, I mean, literally, my whole room just lifted, and uh, like I said, I was just standing there making a decision whether I need to move or not. And my my water cup came up, and I just kind of caught it in midair. And uh, <laughs> but but right next to it was my coffee cup, and it didn't move. It's the weirdest thing, dude. I went on, had to go, we had to clean up. It took us a long time because everything was just on the ground, right? But I had stuff that was clear across the room, and I have no idea how that happened, right? Uh, mm-hmm. I saw glasses in the uh, china cabinet, just, I guess they were hitting each other or, or, uh, or the, uh, the, the vibrations of it. I don't know, but they were just exploding. So I had glass on top of everything, not just on the floor, right? Um, and, uh, when we went outside, it was very bright moon, uh, moonlight. It was a full moon, of course, or near from full moon. And the clouds in the sky were all ribboned. They were all just sliced in little thin ribbons because the energy had, you know, had done it. Um, so it was, uh, it was a very strange experience. Uh, uh, the only, the only thing I was a bit mad with was my wife because I told her to move. And she did, but she went back, forth, back, forth, over here doing that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She changed her freaking clothes during a goddamn earthquake before coming out of the house. I shit you not. It sounds like a woman done it. But it's like, I had, they were pajamas. I'm like, yes, and you could be dead under concrete. Because I'm standing in the doorway not leaving because I'm not going to leave my wife, right? And I'm like, come on, come on, come on. And finally, she got outside because it was a you know fairly long earthquake, uh, but um, you know luckily it was no tsunami because the earthquake is you know that's fine that's bad enough but uh, the tsunami is what's actually dangerous right um, and yeah. uh, there wasn't one so that was good but uh, it was a surreal experience that's for damn sure uh, everybody felt it everyone was because you know we have people that are good we got a bunch of ninety hundred year old people in this village right and mm-hmm. they've never felt one that strong. So, you know, I thought that was interesting because I'm a foreigner. So, yeah, maybe it's strong to me. Right. Uh, yeah. But uh, but no, they all agreed. So but I'm alive. I got a little well, bit of good. damages, but it's, you know, uh, you know, under a thousand dollars, I'd say. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't know why people won't listen to Mother Nature when she tells us not to live places, but we consistently refuse to listen. You know, I've asked that question to Japanese a few times <laughs> and they don't have an answer. They just kind of look at you blank. Uh, I, but I live here too, right? I'm here, and I know right well I shouldn't. Uh, Not like but, California, right? Every every other year, California burns to the damn ground, and people just keep living there. I'm like, yeah, what, are you, that's true. what are you doing? That's true. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it, it, it was a, a pretty rough experience, but um, it was nowhere near as interesting because there was a huge hit in, in Aso uh, Caldera, um, and that was a 
that was bigger than this one. That was a real big one. And that flattened the entire valley or uh, caldera. Uh, but yeah. I, my daughter was in Kumamoto, and of course, she's right next to that. And it got, it, we were talking to her because there had been a little bit of shakes. And then the big one hit. We literally saw her entire room turn over because we were on Skype, right? And uh, so my wife was immediately getting her stuff. So, all right, we're traveling. So uh, we, I drove into that situation. Uh, it took me 12 hours to get in there, get her out. But during that, many more quakes hit. And after that, uh, of course, over the next three, four weeks, there were thousands of little quakes, dude. Thousands. That was a oh, big one. Um, but as I'm coming down the cal- side of the cal- caldera, you know, on the road, because there's a cut-in road, right? Um, yeah. Another big one hit. And it l- it, it, it kind of, it didn't liquefy the road, but it, it made the road as if it was uh, slick black ice. So I was literally skiing down this very steep road of the side of the caldera because of the earthquake had caused that effect. Uh, so I skied my car down. That that was a much more gnarly experience than this one. The This one, like I said, my big frustration was just, you know, wife, wife, what are you doing? Move your ass. And she said, well, it's an experience. I know now. And I'm like, oh, oh is it? Oh, okay. All right. Am I wrong here? Am I wrong here? And your house is so well built. Goodness gracious. Oh, well, Japanese can build. They're some of the world's greatest carpenters. Dude. They can build. Yeah, they can do carpentry. A language, though, they can't get in any kind of reasonable alphabet situation. They just yeah. can't. They can't muster it for some reason. That's probably true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tank. What's up, dude? Hello, good sir. How are you doing? How's everybody out there in TV land? Good to see you guys. Uh, doing well. Just talking about my surviving a gigantic earthquake. In, in, in Japan? Earthquakes? Yeah, I know. Go figure. Silly talk. Well, I mean, I've, I've literally <laughs> been through thousands of them, but uh, this one was actually big. Roger. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what, uh, what? How did it measure on the Richter scale? Do you know? Uh, well, it was only a 6.4, but it was directly on dress. Uh, but, well, you know, Anything more than 5.5 is, is something of note. Oh, for sure. Uh, but it it cracked the roads. Uh, we got a bunch of cracked roads around. We had one road that was impassably cracked. Um, uh, lots of stuff like that. you know. Uh, but like I said, when I went into the uh, Aso, uh, Aso Caldera uh, earthquake, um, that, I mean, the road had, the, had, in some places, had lifted like 10 feet, right? I mean, you're driving along, you got to stop because the road is 10 feet above you. You, you know, that, that's the kind of shifting they had over there. Uh, I actually had times where I was driving on, driving on the side of the angled berm to get around giant rips in the road. You know, that was, that was pretty gnarly. Uh, but uh, this, crazy. yeah, this was not that bad. Uh, but anyway, World War Hell Dan, who's that? That is Dan Fogarty, creator of World War Hell, which is uh, one of the cool things we've got coming out from Brain Cage, man. We nice. Got a tabletop and, war game. Well, you know, Fogarty is one of my favorite singers. I love me some CCR. Uh, right, right, mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Probably a relation. Dan, yeah, Dan's a great guy, man. He is, I like to say that he's indie comics is uh, Clive Barker. Oh. He's, he's, his nightmares are so beautifully exquisite. Well, that's nice. So what are you doing, Tank? I, I know we were talking about having you on uh, Drawing a Quarter. What, what you up to? Uh, well, well, right now we're um, I'm helping uh, Greg Levitt out running uh, his uh, his campaign, our Brand Cage uh, inaugural launch of Gun Demon. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we're doing good so far, man. For a first time campaign, and as boomered up as the uh, campaign has been going on trying to make Indiegogo work with hammers. Uh, oh right, at, right. Why don't you show it to us, dude? Uh, yeah, let me, um, I got um, you, uh, I have you boxed, so you go right ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm actually looking for, oh, oh yeah, there's the disc. I have so many things open right now. Uh, we're going to share the screen and we're going to grab this. Uh, is that it? That's it. Okay. I think that's it. I might've messed it up, but if I did. No, you share it. There it is. I'm jump up there. All right. So. Oh, there you uh, go. Let me. Let me change this formatting so you can everybody out there in TV land can see this Ooh, better. I like that cover, dude. That's a nice looking cover. Oh man, the artwork is absolutely incredible on this. Who's doing uh, the EDS art? EDS likes this. Um, for the interior art, we have John Howard and Cheese Windhall. 
mm-hmm. and uh, Paul Billick on co- on colors. That's interesting. Uh, how come you're not doing it? I mean, you're a really high end artist, so how come you're not doing it? I am doing the exclusive sketch cards you guys are oh, getting. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, baby. Uh, yeah, we're sitting at 56 backers, 47 days left. Uh, Greg just went ahead and just said, you know what? We're not even going to pretend to do an extension. We're just going to, a full front, honest business. We're doing sure. 60 days. Yeah, no, why not? Oh, it's a good name. Gun Demon works. What do you What do you guys think about that? Gun Demon. That's good. I like name. it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh. I'm just going yeah, to relate and to he's, He's a he's a heroic hero. Um, is no, he? I'm so happy. Yes, yes, he is. He's a see. In this universe, heaven and hell are worlds, and it's it's kind of like a little space opera twist on on Earth mythology. So you get to encounter bits and pieces uh, of stuff. It's like Kirby's New God stuff. Yeah, it's fun, mm. right? Remember fun? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I like. Fun. I miss fun. I miss fun. So. Gunny is one of three biological super weapons set from hell to come trash Earth. And when he gets here, he quickly discovers humanity and our tasty meats because he is a carnivore. Uh, this is the cover by said no con. It is me, nice, uh, dude. Let me see what I can do about making the get. Yeah, get a full screen on that. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Said no con. This is the kiss the sky cover. It's the. Most our most popular item at 19 items uh, uh, invested in so far. We're super happy about that. Um, but yes, created in the primordial fire of planet hell, flesh torn and shredded in Boss Guru Zarag's training pits, only three of 100 survived to be sent to Earth on a mission of destruction. What? One of three found joy and became something more than a weapon. Why, why, why do they always get us involved us in their shit? Yeah, leave it. Uh, there's well in this universe i love this this sci-fi space opera universe i say space opera but i want to say that you know we we use as much science as we can right sure. um that uh the the most precious resource in the galaxy is biological material Ooh, nice Right, more valuable than gold or water or any of the other sci-fi stuff. I love those plot devices, but with the scientist to me goes, "Oh, please, just enough, enough." <laughs> There's gold and and water everywhere throughout the galaxy. All right, just that's true. <laughs> uh, so we got like the first two pages shown here. Look at this beautiful interior art, man. It is nice, like, dude. Yeah, and the colors like, is pretty good too. Oh, dude, Paul Billick. Just um, or I for I know I think it's Felipe Obando who does the yeah. Uh, oh wait, no, that's the very color. I, we have two colorists, and I and because this is Greg's project, and we're just all uh, partnered up and trying to build a larger company, sure. piece by piece, right? Campaign by campaign, uh, we're going to we're we're getting our Captain Planet rings, and we're summoning summoning Captain Brain Cage uh, to come break your cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like Captain Planet. Yeah, no, we're Captain Brain Cage. We're much cooler That's and true. edgier. That's true. Yeah, yeah we have well, ten times looks the edgy. edge board. Looks pretty bloody, actually. Look at this. I mean, this this is that Asmovian. Any science sufficiently advanced enough is indistinguishable from magic. So it just looks like so we can have some of those cool like visual aesthetics, like fantasy style sure. aesthetics. Sure. But so, this is a. It's, it, it's it kind of reminds me of manga as well in you know, aspects of it. Right? Yeah. Definitely. No, try to draw from the best storytelling. We have a wonderful staff of editors. So uh, uh, that, barbecue yeah. tur- turned him good, is what you're telling me. Yeah. Dude, picks sweet. him up out of the primordial ooze. Hux picks him up by his tail, tosses him in a training pit. Uh, and that's how he's born. Poor Gunny. Oh, uh, He's just a child. Uh, and he's a good guy. He's, he's our friendly neighborhood gun demon. Uh, and this is a bad day. This is the bad day cover. Uh, because if you see Abaddon, a force of nature, this is one of the super weapons. Uh, oh, I see. That, so this is your Apollo. Uh, yeah, he, this guy is uh, this guy is, is super nasty. He's Abaddon, the destroyer. Uh, the spoiler, no spoiler. Act 3 has New Orleans getting hit by Abaddon, and people were wishing it was Katrina. Oh, oh, too soon? Too soon? Too soon? I don't know. Too soon? I don't know. 
He uses guns. Uh, That's interesting. Yes, and this is the uh, fight and demon. flight cover. Yeah. Oh, so oh yeah. He gets more and more guns. But you you're like, well, wait a minute, like. Like the guns, that's not gonna hurt Abaddon. This guy's a force of nature. Like, how is how is he gonna how is he gonna take care of that? Well, here we've got the mighty Mechalore. Oh, oh there's yeah, your anime right there. Yeah. Iron Man never heard of her. Uh, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. This is don't let JD hear you say that. This is far. <laughs> this is Farzine, um, and created by Greg Levite. And Isan Fazeli. This is Isan Fazeli's like rough concept art. Like he does like legit science fiction, like super yep. clean art. Um, and I love the functionality. Like you can see where it bends, where it turns, and and how it works. Uh, it's this is his designs are beautiful, functional, yeah. and fantastic at the yeah, same it's a time. Nice looking mech, actually. Yeah. And so, yeah, Mighty Mechalore comes in, and that's part of the thing. Like, all the gun saved by Gun Demon uh, tiers, we'll talk about that, are done. But there's Mighty Mechalore, uh, because Greg failed to put the artwork in the right place because he's a boomer sometimes. Love you, Greg. Uh, um, I, I, nobody's been saved by Mighty Mechalore yet. Uh-huh. And then, so this is a 38 page book. Right. Right? Good, solid read. That's and a giant. it. Yeah, it's a yeah, giant size, I think, is what they used to call it or something. Yeah. Um, this comes with a 10-page preview, issue number zero, for World War Hell. It's 1943, and poor demon portals have opened up all around the world. The oh. old lines and petty differences that we had with each other melt away under the waves of biological nightmares. Even the Jews? Everybody, man. Right. No, it's it's all sorts of kumbaya. And trust me, the bad baddies that we can't mention because of de- uh, of demonetizations, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, don't worry. You're gonna really enjoy them getting their uppins. Like bad people get uppins. All right. I see. Um, yeah, it's great. And here we have Prang and Blitzkrieg on the cover for the World War Hell issue zero. Uh, and absolutely fantastic. Like Here's the pens, pencils here. for page one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sample page from the issue number one of World War Hell, which has pencils by uh, William Juarez, inks by Cheese Windhaw, uh, colors by Ibrahim Aden. And uh, is his, uh, go up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Is his real name uh, Aries Winda? Yeah, a- yeah, Aries Winda. Wow. That's, uh, that's, you don't see that name yeah. every day. And his first name is Cheese. So we bring the good cheese. Fair enough. <laughs> what country is he from? I don't know, actually. Uh, we do have an international operation going on. Um, over here at Brain Cage, we actually have UK operations going on. We have a tabletop game, and we're premiering at the London Film and Game, uh, Film and, uh, a game Convention. Mm-hmm. Uh, and which is going to be the first of the conventions opening up after the uh, the, uh, the the lockdowns uh, are released, mm-hmm. right? And things are as you if you've been paying attention to world news, UK is getting ready to unleash the beast of people who've been locked inside too long and need to go touch some grass. Is that um, what's going on over here? <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a tabletop <laughs> war game that we're premiering yeah. at this convention oh, on nice. Games Workshop's front porch. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and it's fun. It's quick and easy to learn to play, but it's got great sp- uh, strategy potentials. The math is broken down simply, and it's we think and so far our alpha testers absolutely they're raving about it. Well, that's they're cool, like, dude. <clears throat> I have a lot of experience playing tabletop games, and I'm a math nerd. Um, Who's doing your minis? How- uh, we have uh, this guy right here, Carlos Villa, who designed Blitzkrieg and our other just horrifying monsters that come from the planet hell. Uh, Blitzkrieg is a guy, he got, he's going to get turned into a, one of the demon drones, but he had the force of will and he remained. And so now he's with us humans. Well, he, he's a World War I vet, um, 
but uh you know he he persevered and came through and this is our big ripper he's he's this guy's the guy who runs up and takes on those demons with his bare hands yeah Let's with, Krieg. With your uh with your tabletop game, uh, are you guys doing thirty two millimeter or twenty eight millimeter? We are doing one sixty scale. One sixty, okay. One sixty scale. Uh which is already becoming more and more standard. I know there's the huge divide between one sixty four and one sixty uh amongst yeah. purists, but we also want like we saw that Forge World brought something to 40k that it was missing with its 28 millimeter scale and that was realistic expectations well that's where the heroic size came out of which became the 32 millimeter right 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 and but people generally most gamers out there want it to scale uh and it slightly leans more towards 160 scale because it's just a little bit bigger than that 164 scale uh and your standard human miniature is about uh 25 millimeters tall like that's your like standard human oh, I see. size person. i see poor thundero's having brain aneurysms over here brain brain aneurysms. Aneurysms. <laughs> actually i'll be completely honest what i'm doing is i'm writing oh nice <laughs> outstanding uh so yeah we're gonna do 160 scale uh so that way when you get your frank and tanks and your demons, like yeah, this destroyer it'll be demon, more sizable for the table. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, to scale, and you know, honestly, like because we're looking at injection molding and wrap. Of course, our prototypes will be three D printed. Um, our 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 zero print, you know, right? The one that doesn't exist. It's before the first print. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we will have tons of these boxes. We actually have a place that all they do is three D print stuff, and uh, so they're gonna like pump out these box sets for London falling world war hell. Um, and this is a destroyer demon. This is their tank. Uh, well, Dan says I'm thing. boring. Fair enough. <laughs> That's not what he said. <laughs> uh, this, oops, there we go. This is Prang. Uh, the German who joins the allied forces in fighting off the demons. Yeah, no, I uh, like that real kind of look. Piece. It is cool. Reminds Dude, me of Resistance. Right. Of, um, yeah. Jinra. What's it called? Yeah, that's Jinra. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's high praise. We like that. Because uh, we like those aesthetics. They are uh, cool. And we didn't want to rip off, but we, you know, it's okay. We're just going to borrow a little bit. It's like, like yeah, still... it's the visor and the red eyes more than anything. The, yeah, the head more than anything right? else. Um. And Chris Oak, we did this uh, did, uh, amazing arc. We miss you, Chris. Come back, Chris. He's gone AWOL. Uh, he did this amazing concept art where this is all taken. All these shapes and pieces and bits are actually taken from World War II machinery. Yeah, that's cool, dude. Yeah. Well, you know, as Adad said, us cool us tu hu And it's very true today. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, Solomon said it much later. Uh, there's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> I, I couldn't resist it. That, that's we, an we anthropologist put... joke. Too smart for me. And of course, our shipping and fulfillment is all being handled by Critical Blast, so people out there okay. can have assurance that what they're investing in, they're going to get. That Which is, is nice. important. Yeah, that is important. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, is what a concept. Yeah. What a concept. <clears throat> well, they've kind of been figuring it out here, Thundera. I know that Eric uh, uses probably the best one. I can't think of what it is, but it, it, it is the most reliable as opposed to value. Uh, it might yeah. be this one for all I know. Mm. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but uh, 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 Eric Hawkins, right? Yeah, he always gets his stuff out on time and everything yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, Eric Hawkins yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. He's fantastic. So, yeah, man, this is a dynamic campaign. You're actually getting 48 pages of comic, uh, plus bonus material. Uh, and that's for a $25 buy-in. Um, and you said something about get... cards, too. Oh, brother, we're getting there. We're getting there. So we got the three covers, right? Um, of course, we got the... Uh, 
the all three cover. We're adding some production value to this. We can't change the wording on this, but today we're supposed to be getting in and editing on the main thing to let you know that we're adding some more production value to this because we realized that the percentage off um, wasn't a big enough attractor for people. So we're going to fix that. Uh, but we can't touch this because people, six people have already claimed it, right? Right, yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going to communicate uh, better value. And this is something that we're doing. We're taking all feedback, positive and negative. Uh, please, if you find an out point or a fault with our campaign, please let us know. Uh, we just ask, d don't, not below the belt, okay? Just not below the belt, all right? We can take a hit anywhere else. Fair enough. Uh, no, I think it looks good, dude. It's been a while since we looked at a comic, so I'm always happy to do that. Uh, yeah, I like this. Uh, and I art looks good. appreciate, I appreciate it like deeply. Uh, because we got the we got the three variants: kiss the sky, fight and flight, bad day, uh, battlegate, gun demon deck. Now this is where the excitement is, folks. Eight people have claimed this amazing forty card deck that includes eight characters and thirty two action cards. It is a fast paced, uh, uh, character centric battle game. N no heavy math or uh, management skills needed. Mm -hmm in order to be it, have an in-depth strategy and we're launching one of these with everybody who's a brain cage creator every uh, we're launching these gates and we'll be starting to license this out as well uh because we want other ips to have their battle gate deck so we can all play um and we were talking about this like okay well can i how can i mix and match and stuff like that like yeah we've only got the one deck right now we've also got a fantasy world coming out called anr uh, for those who are more into the fantasy stuff, uh, my Scalpel Zero campaign, which is launching early next month. I know short notice for everybody, but uh, right now I'm working on getting a, a little free comic out to everybody for waiting so patiently and standing by as the latest campaign that has never even run a crowdfunder yet is finally coming out. I get it, folks. Okay? I understand. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind to see it. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I don't know how many of the people over here know this because, you know, you, you've been on here off and on and you'll have a lot of chat and it's funny and stuff. But, uh, uh, you know, and I Kane, usually don't talk about myself. Well, I understand that. But you're actually a really good artist, dude. I mean, thank you, sir. Um, uh, I'm I kind of surprised you're not doing this book, actually. Um, but um, so I'm looking we forward to seeing it because I've seen a lot of your pages and Jesus, dude. And this... I'd love to draw this. <laughs> oh, we man. Have... And I, I want D&Q or something. I no, do want to do a D&Q. I, I've been meaning to set that up. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm the senior vice president and chief operations officer for Brain Cage. So as you can imagine, and we've got a staff of over 20 people working behind the scenes on all the projects that we got coming out. We have a tight production launch schedule for this year. We're actually looking to put out a crowdfunder every month from each one of the individual creators so that we don't want people people to feel pressured to invest in everything, but we want to give them a variety of what they can where they can invest their hard earned money. Because we understand, dude, that dollar was paid for in blood and sweat. And yeah, no, so sure. we, that's true. You gotta think about that. If you if you want to do any DNK or Feast of just the DM me because I'm the one that's always sewing that out. Yeah, I've was, been telling him to do that. that. Why don't you just schedule uh, yeah. him, dude? I know. You you tell oh. me when to show up. I'll be oh, there. We're, we're doing vestry next week, so we've got like it'd be nice to do like a thing. Come, somebody else wanted to do one as well. So I was just looking. I saw that I had forty seven days left. So there's plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, we definitely you tell need to drop me. this though. So if you're doing vestry, uh, what this week? Tomorrow. Yeah, we're doing it. Well, this tomorrow. So yeah. And Thursday. then we were supposed to yeah. do Andrews the week after that, right? Okay. So yeah. Why don't we drop this the week after that? Yeah, we so do three that week after that. Now. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, that would yeah. be the uh, 10th of February, correct? Oh, wow. He's making me think. I know. Yes, uh, yes it is. Yes, it is. It is. All right, yeah, you heard it yeah. here first, folks. You also no, heard that's other not people. correct. This week, we're oh. doing yes, vestry. Next week, we're... Uh, yes, no, that is correct. It is correct. I just <laughs> checked the calendar. What are you freaking on about? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have an um, earthquake, you know, but... <laughs> I'm right, discombobulated. So I, I, you know, I understand. And then we got the drawn in tiers. We have bystanders. Now, it's not included in the description here. Like I said, I have to update the thing. So it's like everybody who's listening, please hear me out. My word. 
that you get a comic with this. It was just forgot to be put in, uh, and nobody's bought in on this one yet, so I can still adjust that. But yeah, for people who are being drawn in death by Abaddon, you get to get to become a human grease stain. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Saved by Mechalore. We saw him earlier. He's the cool uh, dude. And yeah. saved, it, uh, saved by Gunny. I think both of those have already been purchased. One was, like I said, Greg boomered his way through this one hammer at a time. Uh, so one of these was on the front page. The other one was an add-on. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but they've both been procru uh, procured, so that's that's already sold out. And I'm super happy that we have something sold out, because um, this is Greg's first campaign. The thing I can assure you is that he understands and knows the how to deliver this product into your hands. And that's another reason why we have uh, the master man himself, RJ, Critical Blast. So, yeah. That's my presentation. Thank you. Oh, nice, That's dude. Awesome, dude. Yeah, it looks good. And uh, uh, definitely have you on, on the 10th on the uh, Drone and Quarter. And it looks like something fun the guys would like to, uh, and gals. Uh, we actually got it's a lot definitely of Definitely more. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll get Greg people, here for yeah. that. I'll get Greg here for that because oh, he, he's the one who needs to be here for that. This is his, this is his child. Uh, I'm just the one showing off the goat. Uh, Let me know if you need the invite link for the Discord then. Yeah, and you can, we can get a hold of him. I'm, I'm going to do this real quick, actually, because I am here in Discord. Uh, I'm adding, I'm sending you the, the friend request, Mr. Doomed Rabbit. And you know what, Thundaro, yep. I should be sending you a friend request, too, because I've known you. You don't want to be my friend. No. <laughs> I think no, I'm the last person who wants to be your friend. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was funny thing. You made me think uh, what you said there. Made me think about the uh, uh, the dog during the earthquake. Uh, I have mm -hmm. a schnauzer, and uh, he was barking at the earthquake. Of course, as you do. Uh, but um, uh, he, as uh, when the earthquake stopped, he uh -huh. literally put his head up, turned around, and trotted off as if successfully barking in a way. It was freaking awesome. epic, dude. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yeah, he was <laughs> so proud. Do, dog. That'll do. <laughs> that yeah, he's so he, he he defeated that shaking, so you know I thought it was funny. Uh, Frank and Tanks, us, so, yeah. Nope. yeah, Frank and Tanks. What? He's asking about that. He says, "Do you want to show what? some Tank and Franks?" Frank and Tanks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, you know, popular demand and all. Uh, let me go find. I have so much stuff open right now. Um, <laughs> nope, it's not that. it either. No, no, it's still not it. We're not there. No, no, <laughs> no. All right, oh. I shall judge you all. Fair enough. Uh, that's what I look Fair like, enough. by the way. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go digging for the file. Well, it, just keep in mind, everybody, Tank Ferret is an appellation with 26 children. So. Just... Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, them appellations are going to save the West, Chester. Yes, that's fair. Uh, have you seen any of Tank's art, uh, Thunder? I just saw some of it, I'm assuming. Was that his? Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I quickly through it so nobody would pay attention um all right oops that's the wrong button we're looking okay. at your fine face here yes as i am judging everybody out there in tv land that's right i know what you did i you know, see what you did you look Pepper. like Pepper. somebody who does he look like he looks like somebody Take care. no 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 he looks like somebody <laughs> there's an actor he looks like look at me well it's hard to tell with that hat on I had an ex-girlfriend who said it looked like the guy who played uh, Superboy in Smallville. No, I was like, no. I wish I was that sexy. I'm thinking Buffalo Bill. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull up some developmental art. So please forgive me that this stuff is crude. Uh, we're not in final form on that yet. That's all right. Just let us see it. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting. Getting that, and then, as I did not come prepared to to promote, I came here to talk about the news. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, let's, we got. Time. Let's talk about some news while he looks for that, Chester. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, let me go ahead and get this set up. Uh, let me bring it over here. <laughs> and look at this. Chester was so enthralled, he's not even ready. You see that? <laughs> it's contagious. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I am ready. I'm always ready. All right, well, you're going to read that name because I'm not. That's that's uh, nonsense. Fine. Jean-Claude Mézier, 
uh, co-creator sure. of the comic book uh, Valerian, uh, It Lolilene, uh, dies French. at 83. Now, I know Give me a lot every of... bit of Indian. Give me every bit of Japanese. They can have French. You can just send it back. It's, okay. it's a nonsense language. <laughs> no, it's actually quite a beautiful language. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, he... Um, uh, this dude, I know Americans probably don't know him as well, but this dude is epic in Europe. Uh, yeah. He is uh, one of the uh, uh, writers for uh, the co-creator of Valerian. Now, Valerian is a very long-running comic book. They even tried to make a movie. It was an absolute disaster. It was terrible. Yeah. It ruined it, man. Valerian is so awesome. I was so mm. excited for that. And it's then when true. I saw the movie, I was like, I'm just going to pick and choose what i like about it and try to remember that only. well it was the casting really i mean but, but the com the comic book is another issue and i was young no i never read the comic and i thought the movie sucks <laughs> yeah no but the comic doesn't though i actually had an opportunity to read this uh because they did bring Valerian to america in english uh and i did read it when i was young uh and i i loved it uh, Valerian and uh Laureline, uh are you know uh, are kind of a couple and uh, Valerian is very, very, you know, the male. He's very male, very masculine, very heroic. Uh, and it's a sci-fi, and it's brilliant. It's freaking brilliant. The art is awesome. Uh, I got a little cover clip here I can show you real quick. Uh, the art is very interesting. And uh, these guys just get into all kind of shenanigans and uh, such uh, in adventures in space, it's just a little, it's a sci-fi comic that's that ran for a very long time, and it was very very successful in Europe particularly. Um, and in that movie was <clears throat> a real real uh, shame because the guy who made it is the same one who did Fifth Element, which was great, right? Uh, but mm. it just didn't work. And, and in my opinion, the casting of Valerian and Loreline was the beginning of the disaster. Those two is just wrong. You needed a masculine male dude to play Valerian. Uh, yeah. The, it's just not right, dude. They chose this skinny little effeminate soy boy. It was ridiculous. Um, and she's berating him the whole time, which is correct. But he always comes back with the macho guy. He don't give a shit, right? Um, it just didn't work. It was a disaster. Uh, it looked beautiful, but uh, unfortunate. And uh, I don't I, Another thing I uh, was weird for me about that movie, uh, Tank, was... Uh, the 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 story they have what a thousand stories to choose from and that's the one they chose yeah they chose like one of the most least one of the least interesting stories that i've read i haven't read all of it i've only read like some story arcs here and there but they're so good so yeah, they good. could have just done one of the little smuggling ones or some little story arc just to introduce Valerian and, 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 and you know, just a, some small, tight story and make it fun and you could do more later, right? Uh, but they screwed that up. But anyway, uh, Jean-Claude, uh, it's uh, thank you very much, sir. He lived a long life, so plenty of life there, 83 years. Uh, condolences to his family, of course, but uh, he shall be remembered uh, for, for damn sure of his epic creation. So, uh, you know. Yeah. S smooth sailing, sir. That's all I got to say. Uh, and uh, I know Rabbit doesn't know anything about him, and I don't know about Thunder. Do you know who this guy is, Thunder? Oh, I know Valerian, though, but I've never. You know me, I don't care about artists. I just. Well, he's a I care about the art. He, he's not he's Well, a regardless. Writer, yeah. still, he's still an artist. He's just a, not a drawing artist or a picture artist. Nah, he's a writing enough. artist. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, it's very rare that I'll, I'll actually give a damn about who, who did what or who did not what, as long as it's good. If somebody uh, yeah. does a long string of good, then maybe I'll care. But I just, I care about the artist. And I think, uh, or, or I'm sorry, I care about the art, not the artist. And I think any good artist should respect that. Because that's what it's about, is the art. Well, yeah, true. And, and it's unfortunate because that movie could have introduced uh, 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 Jean-Claude to the world. Uh, and yeah. uh, Valerian, and, and they screwed it up so bad. And of course, it's because... The French, they tend to lean in toward that liberal woke anyway, culturally. And uh, at the time this came out, they leaned so deep and they went both fists, dude, uh, into the uh, the effeminate, uh, you know, feminism, woke progressiveness uh, in that movie. And it was really unfortunate because that's not who Valerian is. I mean, he is the titled character. For frick's sake. Uh, but anyway, yep. um, uh, uh, just a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, remembering uh, 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 a yeah. legend. So, All right, breathe. Breathe, Chester. Breathe. I am. 
I am. Thank you. Uh, moving on. Uh, here's a headline. One second. My Discord has decided to freeze up on itself like a champion. There we go. Goldie Hawn agrees that Hollywood should save their lectures for somebody else. That is a quote. <laughs> well, ah. there's been a lot of actors come out recently uh, taking this. Uh, Rob Schneider it was another one. Uh, are saying, you know, yeah, shut up is basically what they're saying. Uh, now, I didn't put this up here because of that. I just because Goldie Hawn. I haven't thought of her in a long time. <laughs> Never uh, mind. No, since yeah. the 80s. <laughs> she was super cutie. Uh, but you know what Goldie did? You know what shocking thing that Goldie did that I'm sure the, the, the feminist can't stand? Uh, she decided to make a family and have babies. And you know what she did? She went and she became a mom. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Uh, horrible. She. Horrible woman, yeah. Uh yeah. but uh and that's why you didn't see her in a ton of movies in the eighties, nineties and not, because uh she being a mom. She they get yep. she and uh, Kurt Russell have a bunch of kids. Uh and uh she made a decision that family was more important than a career, and of course Kurt was dragging in the money, she had her own money too. Uh so uh here I put this up simply because I haven't seen her in a long time and I appreciate this lady because she made a good choice. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, and uh, I, I think I stand alone that I think of her nightly. Oh, fair oh. enough. Uh, well, she is absolute hottie, dude. I mean, yeah. you know, there's another hottie, too. What was her name again? Uh, this Megan reporter, Kelly. Megan Kelly. Oh, my God. She, that's a hottie uh, right there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no. Uh, and I'm happy for her because, you know, uh, she and Kurt have been together forever. Uh, they haven't had any, we haven't heard any kind of scandals or any issues. These are, these are mom and dads uh, and Kurt Russell. I've never seen a picture of a young Kurt Russell, but I can just guess that he looks exactly the same. And I mean, young, I'm talking like young, 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 like a kid. Well, I've never seen same, that. Except for that he looks wizened. Yeah, yeah that's he, true. That's what uh, I'm saying. He, well, his face is basically the exact same as it's always been. And his hair is a little bit grayer. Other than that, he just, he's Kurt yeah. Russell. He doesn't well, change I, I, it. <laughs> I do remember him in the uh, the the computer wears tennis shoes. I remember him in that, uh, and he was a kid in that. Uh, he's yeah. a Disney kid uh, that didn't I, get corrupted. I, I do have to say that these two, who are not winers, have aged like fine wine. They got the right yeah. kind of wine. Good job. Good yeah, job. yeah, yeah. Well, they're just good people. <laughs> and, and the thing with Kurt is he doesn't work a lot. He's very picky, but when he does, it's good. Oh, he's dude, saying. he's, yeah, he slams home runs every time. Yeah. Um, I even like their Santa Claus movie, and she shows up at the end, by the way. Yeah, yeah. No, my, my, my the family, <laughs> I haven't seen that one all the way through yet, but the family loves it. All the kids, the mom, yeah. the sister-in-law, they all love that. And, uh, you know, uh, Ricky Gervais, of course, is another one that's been speaking out. But uh, uh, like I said, Rob Schneider, there's a bunch of them starting to come out and, and, and make, you know, saying, you know, shut up, dude. Uh, we, we don't need your opinion. It just, uh, you know, uh, shut up and dribble. Right. I mean, basically. It's about time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and we're getting more and more of them. And it's good uh, because we're talking with Goldie Hawn here. And, and of course, her husband, uh, we're talking Hollywood elite. And Kurt has been banging against that wall for several years, uh, telling them to shut the hell up. Uh, and, uh, the, yeah. the, and they hate it because they can't say anything to Kurt Russell. They, they have Kurt no power. Russell. Yeah. <laughs> when right. they get they get a cancel, all right, I'll go take my millions and go millions and go home. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> they can cancel Steve, uh, Steven Seagal, but they ain't getting Kurt Russell, dude. They ain't no. happening. Yeah. It's kind of like how they, uh, you know, they they desperately want to cancel Joe Rogan, and it just it's just not going to happen. He's too no. big. He's huge. too big now. Yeah. He has too much momentum. Yeah. And Clint Eastwood. How many times have they tried to cancel that man? And it just just doesn't happen. Clint Eastwood. Yeah, it's Clint yeah. Eastwood. You can't do anything about Legends. it. Legends. Um, but I, I just put her up as a placeholder for the idea that we are starting to get some pushback from Hollywood in the proper way. Uh, saying, you know, this is enough's enough. Just shut up. Do your job. No one needs your damn opinion. Stop it. Uh, and I, I chose, out, out of those ones I could have, I chose Goldie because I haven't seen her forever. And it just makes me happy. Yeah. Word. Yeah, word. She's a nice lady. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. <sighs> Hollywood elitist <laughs> and global warming activist mm. Leonardo DiCaprio makes the bold prediction that Earth has literally nine years left on its ticking clock. 
where the hell, the hell are they from? <laughs> where do they get this number from? That this uh, that this uh, how do you Americanski say uh, womp womp? Yes, <laughs> right. Well, Sandy Cortez was going on about it too, right? You know, yeah. three years ago, yeah. it's the same number. They were three years later, therefore nine. But where the hell are you getting this number? I mean, I- I- as far as the worst, I mean, and we're talking about uh, scientists who are trying to play ball with these liberals, right? The worst case yeah. scenario you're seeing is a point what degree of a, 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 a by the year 2100 which is yeah. have, which is zero effect of anything right i think the highest i've seen of any actual scientist was they said a degree one degree by 2100 oh, i like, haven't seen uh, that i've seen uh, okay something. yeah most of them say like 0. 0.2 0. 0.3 but yeah, even yeah. like the super alarmists are like oh it'll be one degree warmer okay one and degree? We, I, we, we can handle that, I think. We'll be all right. <laughs> well, dude, That's we've been warming. not an extinction level event. So. No, <laughs> and we've been warming since before the Younger Dryas, dude. I mean, yes. it, you know, what the hell? Uh, but but anyway, uh, the, 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 you know, the, we know this is nonsense. And, of course, Leonardo DiCaprio is uh, flying around in his jets and he's big old echo. Uh, ecological yeah, buying guys. his products from China. Yes, that's right. Uh, but he, the thing that it got me uh, in this article is – Oh, Leo here, he says, my my two life's passions is to be a great actor and to protect nature. Now, I remember, Leo, many years ago, uh, you were young and you did get a lot of success. And uh, maybe because I'm older, I remember this. Uh, but uh, you lost your shit there for a little while there, buddy. And uh, you were all about, I'm the best thing that has ever existed in the universe, that kind of attitude is what he had. Uh, if you yeah. some uh, older people here remember old old young Neo uh, and his uh, and his uh, uh, his nonsense, uh, and it uh, lost him a lot of work for quite a while. Matter of fact, I would say his career has taken a very different uh, angle trajectory than it would have. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, fuck off, Leo. Uh, your passion is money and pussy, dude. Well, yeah, you see, he's probably heavily invested in these these nonsense companies, like solar companies or whatever. And so he's he's pushing it because you know it's it's all a big grift. If they actually believe this stuff, they'd all sell their private jets, they'd sell all their cars, they'd go live in some shack somewhere in the woods and power everything they own by solar power. But none of them do that because they're full of shit. They That's are. why. And and you know the thing is, some people, some of these woke tards, they do get out there and preach that, and they live it. And hey, dude, yeah. I I appreciate that. Cool. Yeah, uh, exactly. We should take care of the environment, man. This is where we live. Of I course mean, we do. Well, of course we should. You know. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's not the That's question. Like the, right. The world's not dying in nine years, dumbass. No. No. <laughs> uh, fear. Uh, fear is a manipulative tech tactic and yeah. it is it denotes that their psychological profile says that this is a manipulator this oh, is yeah, this exactly. is a user this is not a like come on just stick to acting brah and you know what keep acting yeah and he's pretty and good make actor, that actually. big money yeah make That's that big actor. money and just donate to your favorite charities yeah. let them do the activism yes let the science let scientists do the science please just what is yeah. needed to wonder from you leo is good acting yeah, well, what uh, I, we don't uh, need your opinion. The point I was trying to make is this: this guy, th- th- when he was young, He's dead. Uh, he was all about the pussy dude. He was, you know, oh, he real. was a superstar. He was, you know, drugged out of his brain half the time. He's running around Johnny Depp and River Phoenix before Johnny killed him. Oh, am I allowed to say that on uh, YouTube? Uh, but uh, <laughs> he was out of his freaking mind, getting sex from every corner, which, you know, good on you. Um, and uh, he, he, he really put his foot in his ass. And people were really angry at him because he went too far. And I feel like, you know, when we kind of saw him come back in a couple of movies, he's been doing this ever since. It's like his he started to try to apologize in some way, and he just got stuck in this constant apology. I, I feel like this is kind of what's happened to him. Um, his brain's and, broken. Yeah, because... You know he, you know he was he. She screwed up bad. I don't know if you if you guys remember how how he just got under people's skin. Yeah, I remember yeah. hating him. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I still do, but yeah. I can but, I can give props where props are due. He's a good actor. He's done he some good actor. films, yeah, definitely. Good but I mean, it was it was very it was much different than say a uh, uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Justin Bieber, you know, well, yeah, (laughs) but he, you're getting that kind of pretty boy girls love him jealousy thing from him. Right. But if you listen to what Justin has said, he's like, yeah, I'm really not a very smart person. I'm pretty dumb. And that's about the extent of what the dude said. He, he's not. We agree. I'm going to agree. Yeah. Pretty dumb. DiCaprio breaks my heart a little bit because he is such a good actor and he had a chance to be a normal human person <laughs> and he chose to be what he is now and it's it's sad because he has had every advantage you could ever ma- ever want as a person he's immensely talented he's was born with a natural talent uh he finally grew into an actual man instead of a stick figure and he did, he did. Yeah. this is what he does with his time he's become a bitter liar a bitter hypocrite yeah that comes out here and preaches from his ivory tower about the, yeah. the unwashed masses need to do yeah. better and this movie don't no. watch it because it's pure propaganda dude don't look it, it, it yeah I, it's it so bad it. that they inadvertently made fun of everybody which <laughs> yes. tickled me so By deeply accident, yeah and i yeah, know and, and alan you're right i mean he's still constantly banging the 20 somethings uh, I mean, yeah. you know, and I don't get that. I mean, when I was 20 something, maybe even 30, you might want to go for the youth. Uh, but as you get, cause he's, he's younger than me, but not that, not by that much. I mean, when you get older, you don't want some little girl. Well, she don't know what the hell she's doing. You want a woman, a mature woman <laughs> who knows how to rock your night. Right. Well, I if you're Leonardo DiCaprio, you can probably have both at the same time. So that's fair. Yeah. Well, that you know fair. what the aluminum consortium says, Chester? Oh. What? That uh, lizard space aliens have a hard time being human. That's fair. That's true. It that is fair. Yeah, Good I just point. don't understand this obsession with young girls, though. It's like, what the hell are they going to do for you, dude? I mean, uh, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> oh, pardon. Maybe he's, got, maybe he's got a really, really <laughs> small pecker, and he just doesn't want somebody with, uh, you know, experience to make fun of him. Oh, maybe that's wait all a it minute. Is. I don't maybe he's just insecure. <laughs> God. Wait a minute! I've been taken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, uh, but uh, anyway, old Leo, uh, he's you know he he's got to keep his uh, you know as he sits on his big old expensive yacht, pumping more pollution into the air than any of the rest of us do. So get on you, oh, yeah. dude. Get on you. Uh, yeah. Glad to see you kept uh, you kept that dad body away though. Good for you, man. Yeah. Uh, anyway, moving on. Oh. We've picked on Leo enough. We have. After heavily investing in woke identity politics, see, this wasn't written by Trent, there's a comma, <laughs> IDW loses Transformers and G.I. Joe licenses. Now, uh, uh, today, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. today you see I'm, I'm mixing yesterday's show, which I couldn't do, I apologize, no. and today, uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I've been real busy the past few days, guys, uh, but, uh, but anyway, um, uh, I put this in because this is not small news, dude. IDW has lost Transformers and G.I. Joe. That's yeah. huge, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And you know, uh, and and I and I good for it because their Transformers and GI Joe were woke crap. Uh, Do you see what they did to poor Snake Eyes? Jesus Christ, dude! Uh, they have literal gay Transformers. Uh, yeah. You know these things are <laughs> asexual. Yeah. Not just a flash gets joke anymore, folks. No, actual <laughs> gay Transformers. Are you kidding me? Uh, so, so I'm happy. Good. Get it away from them. Yes. Give it to someone who could do something with it. But I'm telling you, that's a major smash in the head for AD, uh, IDW, dude. Huge. No, they, no, this picture, I mean, many folks will take a look at this picture and interpret it as they're folding up the flag to signal death. But uh, no, I see them as finally unfurling a flag because they yes. can raise that banner high for all of us to be proud of. Yes, yes. And not on some gay robot stick either. Yeah. Right, right. I can't believe um, they did gay transformers. What the? Fuck I, it's is stupid, that dude. It's so <laughs> stupid. Um, there's like uh... what, in the history of transformers, there's been like maybe six or seven female transformers, and I'm talking. I like just remember the official. I just canon. remember was it was it RC? Was that the one I'm thinking of? Uh, RC, she was the first. It's yeah. the only and one I already remember. <laughs> then we got Arachnia in Beast Wars, and with the Transformers War for Cybertron, which I recommend. 
uh because it ties together the timeline beautifully was that the uh, yeah I've, I've i've got it i haven't watched it yet. oh it was yeah. good man and they put in some more female transformers and you get woke about it it was like cool we got some bad babes for the girls to go yeah that's what i'm cosplaying this halloween you know that's it was fun for everyone and it was cool it was riveting and it started off kind of weird and then you're like well wait a oh shoot as they explain it you're like oh wow it all makes sense yeah they did they screwed up the timeline and they're trying to fix it oh it's so great they fixed transformers to launch with a fresh start that something that is more ideal to the original vision of it and of course it stalled because they got it right you got to stall them <laughs> Uh, by the um, way, this Salvo character here, that's female. I know it's hard to tell, but that's a female. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, I'm sorry, the most ethnicity right there ever. doesn't have chicken legs. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. uh, she got chicken body, and most women who are beefy and big like that, they don't look like that. That's that, And what's up with that forearm? Like, she's got gorilla forearm. Yeah, no, it's very um, weird. And, and And the thing about it is... Uh, why did you need to do this? I mean, there are several females on the uh, side of good and bad in G.I. Joe. Why did yeah. why was this uh, transgender uh, uh, abomination necessary? I don't. Yeah. Why do they feel the need to ugly everything oh, up? Is she transgender? I don't know. I thought uh, it was just some ugly meat me, yeah. me headed woman or something. Yeah. It just looks wrong. <laughs> I mean, if she's transgender, then that to makes total sense. <laughs> yeah, Bravo, yeah, good character yeah. design. I hate this conversation it shouldn't yeah. exist. It shouldn't, and that's the point. It shouldn't exist. And they're, they're giving examples of dumb shit here. Uh uh like I, I was I was forged male, which did not match, match my spark. Someone named me Jaxus claimed he could help, but he altered my CNA and let me loose. Okay. Um okay, okay. That, uh that's yeah. totally Stupid. So stupid. Yes. Uh, but uh, but anyway, um, yeah, this is a mega hit uh, for IDW, and they deserve it. Uh, yeah. And uh, hopefully, we'll get Transformers and GI Joe uh, back. You got any comments on this, uh, Thundero? I love it. I love everything about it. I love watching Wokies get burned. It's it's funny. It's that meme that you see online where it's uh, it shows somebody all happy and da 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 when they're. When they're out there sowing, sowing their nonsense, and then all miserable and sad when they're reaping it. You know, you get what you fucking deserve. Yeah, and they absolutely agreed. deserve this. Yeah. I mean, I it's... Just needed... Yeah. Uh, anyway. I would be very surprised if they even, if they last too much longer. It's a couple. And, uh, they've been, I, they've it, had a lot of trouble. Um, yeah. Who was it that was uh, a tank that was uh, tracking their, their absolute... Uh, uh, economic disaster going over a IDW over the past five years. Is that the umbrella guy? I think it's Tug, the yeah. Guy. Tug was doing that. Yeah, Tug was doing that. Uh, and it's it's desperate, dude. And this this has got to be the straw that breaks the camel's back, dude. It's got to be. You know what? I would recommend to him. I'm I'm even just reach out to him and say, hey man, I know you. The Johnny Depp thing is like coming to a head. Like news over there is like holy smokes. Amber Heard, she's in a lot of trouble. Legally, yeah, well, she's a really, I lost dude. no track of that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, Tug's been on top of that, and that's been his bread and butter. It I'm had. like, man, maybe may, I, I'm gonna be like, man, maybe you should take a break for a minute and cover this and go take a look at some numbers. We could use another the numbers video. We could. I'd really like to see it. He, I would he too. does impeccable research. So please, yeah, Tug. No, he he is a good accountant, that's for sure. Um, Dumbs the name says that Boom should get Transformers. I would agree. Yeah, Boone's been knocking it out of the park recently, dude. Yeah, uh, but like uh, we'll see. Boom. Uh, that's big news, though, dude. Anyway, moving on. Jason Voorhees actor and stuntman Kane Hodder had one scene even he wouldn't do as the infamous slasher. Okay, uh, can we take a moment of silence that Hodder is no longer Jason, please, everybody? I didn't know it was always the same Jason. Well, no, it wasn't. But for the our, the famous Jason was uh, was hotter, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, I actually met him once, uh, up yeah. in uh, 
Massachusetts and Salem, they have this gigantic uh, uh, haunted house walkthrough you can do. And uh, he was uh, at the end of it when you come out. Uh, he was there. Elvira was there. It was a bunch of horror people. And they were signing autographs. And it was really cool. Tower over you. Oh, uh, not really. Uh, I'm, but I'm tall, so. You're tall, yeah. yeah. He's pretty um, big. The only person who towered over me, and I was standing, uh, uh, like in the seventh or sixth row, uh, back from the ring, and I was on the on the, on the al- uh, alley side, on the walkway side, and uh, Hulk Hogan walked by, and he's not much bigger than me, uh, but frickin' Andre the Giant, Jesus Christ! Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's massive, isn't he? Yeah, it's not just his height, it's his thickness. Yeah, just a gigantic he was just human, massive. Dude. He literally was like a giant, though, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, unfortunately, I, I've I've seen, you know, you know, been in a room with uh, many celebrity people from time, because I'm a musician, right? So I'm not talking to him, but I'm just in the band playing, and you see him, right? Um, and, mm. uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taller than most of them, dude. I'm taller than Arnold. Oh well, yeah, yeah. he's he's surprisingly he's not, that tall, not that tall. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's that tall. <laughs> what couldn't he do? I'm curious. Uh, that's what I'm getting to. I don't know. I wanted to be a surprise. I'm going to read it. Uh, stunt performer Kame Hodder has dec- uh, has a decorated career in the horror genre uh, and is known for playing Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th movie more times than anyone. That's true. Racking up four go rounds in the hockey match from uh, 1986 to 2002. Uh, oh, as, yeah, Jason. I, I didn't mind it, actually. What a movie. No, it was funny. It. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Uh, it's camp I'm... as it should be. Uh, as anyone who studied his career can attest, the tough guy uh, looking actor is basically up for anything, uh, but that doesn't mean he knows no limits. When demonstrating a fire stunt early in his career, it went wrong and Hodder was left with second and third degree burns across his body. Oh, damn, dude. I didn't know that. Uh, however, uh, that didn't stop him from pursuing uh, uh, his career as an actor. And as noted above, he embraced the role of Jason Voorhees. And while Jason, uh, excuse me, while Voorhees is an uh, infamous slasher, Harder uh, had limits on just who and what the character would take uh, to the woodshed, such as kicking a dog. That's fair enough. Don't kick a dog. Yeah. Wow. We're stab people in the face, but yeah, yeah, not kick a dog. <laughs> kick a dog. Uh, according to Slash Film, it's true. Whereas uh, Michael Myers on Halloween franchise had no qualms about killing K9, he'd actually eat them, uh, which mm-hmm. he did in the first movie. It's true. And Jason's rival Freddy uh, would pet man's best friend to death. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. It's Freddy. Uh, but then again, <laughs> Freddy is a pedophile. Uh, and joke about it, Jason will swing a sleep bag with a girl into it, as he should, into a tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he won't pump puppies. All right. Well, I love him I, I more admire now. Admire when a man has principles. Yeah, that's even better. Thank you very much, there, uh, uh, Mr. Harder. Uh, no kick in the pups. Uh, but that is true. If think about it, because uh, many slashers do harm dogs. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Jason never has. I guess if you think about it. Yeah. I think when did Freddy boy, he just misunderstood. That's yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. I remember Freddy killing a dog. There is a dog in Nightmare on Elm Street Four, but you don't kill it. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I didn't recall that scene either. But uh, there must be a scene where he pets one to death. But you need to keep in mind this whole sl- the whole slasher uh, thing came out of the fear because in the seventies, before we got in the eighties, there was a lot of sex disease running around. There was a lot of it, and there was this fear of it in the seventies. And there's a lot of movies made uh, replacing sexual disease with slashers and things like that. It's an expression of that. And the eighties, it got with the AIDS stuff, it got worse. Uh, but Jason is definitely a representation of that. It's it's a, right. a cautionary tale, right? Because who, who does he kill? He kills people that are having sex and not doing their job. Great, great, yeah. Chester. Great, thank you, thank you. You know what? You just ruined Jason for me. Now he's just a giant STD. Uh, yes. <laughs> crap. I'm sorry. Sorry. He's he's a killer crotch lice. Well, you know what I mean, Tank. You know what I, mean. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, it's just too much fun. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't resist myself. I'm yeah, that's so sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, pound puppies. It's a joke, son. A fog. <laughs> <laughs> The rooster. Uh, you know, uh, 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 Leghorn there uh, from the uh, <laughs> Looney Tunes, you know he's a Rhode Island Red. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's an actual type of rooster. Yeah. They're quite big. Yeah. 
uh, and very pricey. They're they're Are sought they? after. Yeah, I didn't know they're, that. They're, yeah. yeah, just you know. Apparently, uh, my my state doesn't have much. Okay, uh, we created coffee, ice cream, and chowder. That's what it. we got. Just not at the same time. Uh, probably not. That's true. But we ain't got much other than that. Whereas, of course, a rabbit is from Nottingham, giving us giving us the greatest hero of all time. What do you say? Legendary. Well, how about you, Tank? Your your hometown famous or home state famous or anything? I, I was born in uh, uh, I was born in Santa Rosa, California. That's oh where my. Charles Schultz is from. Oh, really? Well, there you go. That's better. Uh, how yeah. about you, uh, Thundera? Well, I'm in Ohio, so Buckeyes. That's not a thing. Buckeyes and Buckeyes and astronauts. And uh, Ohio has favorite, the most astronauts. And one of my favorite Looney Tunes jokes. You know why they call it Ohio, right? Because it's round, it's high in the middle and round on both ends. <laughs> oh, jeez. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. No, uh, we have uh, Ohio. I always, I often say people from not not from Ohio, we're we're uh, famous for two things: geniuses and lunatics. The most serial killers per capita oh, come wow. out of Ohio, oh, and the most geniuses per capita in the country come out of Ohio. Oh wow, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, something in the bad. water. That uh, probably is. Yeah, but I mean, every little area has their their claim to fame. I'm sure, right? True. Um, but uh, that's cool that uh, uh, that Kane Hodder wouldn't kick a dog. Uh, he 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 he, cro- he. Yeah, I'm not crossing that line, buddy. Uh, so That's good right. on There's you. There's no so. coming back from that when you're yeah. a dog kicker. <laughs> you're a dog kicker forever. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Uh, but I do love me some Jason. I know they're horrible flakes, and do, do and I do not care. I love them because they're awesome. Uh, well, anyway, I get my hat. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Uh, moving on. Here uh, it is. Here you go. Best news ever. Microsoft announces plans to acquire Activision Blizzard for sixty-eight. Point seven billion. You couldn't throw another three in there and get it to sixty nine. Come on, Microsoft. What are you doing? Oh, billion I dollars. That, that I was... think that's foretelling <sighs> of what we're going to see from this. Well, it's gonna close the expectations, but ultimately be disappointing. Well, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, Microsoft has bought a lot of big, big yeah. computer companies, dude. A lot. Yeah. Um, Chester, talking to you, FTC. Well, I mean, they kind of, they're kind of the Disney of video games, dude. Yeah. They're cornering the damn market, man. Um, I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know how to feel about it. Um, I'd rather it's Microsoft and Tencent. So Fair. it's going to be one of those two, clearly. Yeah, and Blizzard's Sony's just checked company. out. I don't know what the hell Sony's doing. They've just checked out entirely of the of the game, it seems. Uh, so if it's going to be between those two, I'd much rather it be Microsoft. I mean, yeah, Bill Gates is evil, but he's not G evil. So well, you got to pick your evil is what I'm saying. What does. level of evil do you want? Because that's what you're getting. You're getting evil or evil. He doesn't like the Negroes very much, though, Mr. Gates. Well, neither does, neither does GP. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. To see, uh, well, but... Microsoft threw a big thing with like their pay pay to win stuff though, and their you know loot boxes and all that kind of stuff. Pay for everything. Well, well the solution to that like problem company, but... is to outlaw it. Uh, loot boxes oh, should yeah. be outlawed. They should. There's be. no reason they should yeah, be. It's legal. not just the loot boxes. It's yeah. just like they'll release half a game, and then you have to pay for the DLC, 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 or just DLC. regulated as game. I hate right. it. Yeah, or you're right, or just regulated as gambling. Um, the the other thing is, is Microsoft Game Studios has been real good lately. Like, they've been putting out some really good stuff. They have. And they've been well, being very consumer-friendly out of nowhere. I yeah. don't know why the sudden face turn happened, but it did. Writing on the wall. Dude. And yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think <laughs> well, the age of the uh, the milking the gamer, like, like we've seen for the last decade or so, I think it's not going away, because it's never going to go away, but it's going to be very, very, very different going yeah. forward. And I think Microsoft sees that, and they that's one of the reasons why they're being so consumer-friendly. And and this is the only thing that really could have saved Blizzard anyway, because they can come yeah. in, we're a new company, fire everybody, just, you know, yeah, yeah, scor- scorched earth, and, and just and just take the IP and, and put a new team together and create new stuff. Uh, it's, it's brilliant. Um, yep. It's brilliant. I don't hate it. 
I want to hate it because I don't like Microsoft either, just because the you know they're Microsoft for crying out loud. But compared to Blizzard or Activision, I would take Microsoft. I'll take but Microsoft's yeah. track record. I'll take I'll take everything about it. Blizzard is an absolute hellscape of just misery and pain, yeah. especially considering what they used to be. And yeah, I would I much rather have anybody in charge of them than them because they're just a, they're a joke. Maybe we can actually get back to blizzard quality uh if they get some people in there who will actually make good games again well, and this this is good as well because it opens it up to uh fast shooting rising indie creators like uh yeah. squad theta division games uh morph cat studios uh just three off the top of my head that are because now these individual companies that were competing with each other are now operating under a single mantle. Yeah. They have single guidance and leadership, which actually creates more opportunities for the next rising, you know, your next, yeah, it's your true. next EA games, your next Activision Blizzard to rise to the occasion. Right. Yep. And, and another thing that comes out of, if we just take a single game out of the, they, the Blizzard owns a lot more than we're seeing here with these six uh, mm -hmm. games. Uh, but uh, you just take World of Warcraft for a very long time. You have a good chunk because I played World of Warcraft back in the day. Uh, but there's a big chunk of us that want it. We want World of Warcraft 2. We want updated graphics. We want it to be mm -hmm. state of the art MMO. We want it to rival Black Disney. Leaner mechanics. Leaner mechanics yep. We uh, with that, that lore, which is awesome. And yep. they could never do it because of their fan base and the people of Blizzard. Xbox now. Well, and the, start, the engine can, that they're they stuck on it. sucks. It the is. engine that they're stuck well, on is ancient. 20 years old, yeah. and it yeah. just cannot process more than 10 people at once on the screen in a fucking MMO. No. It's ridiculous. And, uh, us, and they're just us, milking us, everybody for money, though, aren't they? That's all they yeah. do. Well, and us PvPers, we don't want rotation-style logic for our endgame yeah. builds. We want something more action-based. We come yeah. and do the PvP because we like the thrill of unpredictability. Uh, mm. We like having to make decisions on the fly. Uh, so for some of us, like myself and Greg Levitt, uh, the creator of, of Gun Demon, like that's relaxing for us. That that helps mm. us take get relieve our stressors, and that's why we've come to play your game is to just take a little load off our shoulders for a minute yeah. and be entertained so that we can function better as human beings. Yeah. If they make a WoW too. One thing that they absolutely have to do is separate the PvP and the PvE rotationally yeah, and when it comes to abilities. It yeah. needs to just be a totally different animal. Well, I don't know, see any reason why not to do that other than they're lazy. I well, wonder uh, if they'll go for a sub again, though, or just buy to play. Because a lot of buy to play. Because, I mean, I prefer buy to play. I don't like World of Warcraft, hands up, but I prefer buy to play. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I, I personally think since the, this is a fresh start and it gives them the opportunity, go Moon Knight Blade, dude. Go that direction and, and give us the uh, JRPG action with the MMO feel and all the lore of Warcraft. Uh, I mean, mm. uh, I mean, why not bite that bullet? I mean, this is one of the biggest IP, you know, video game IPs in history. Uh, take a take a shot at it. You know, I would like. Can you guys imagine a World of Warcraft at the level of Moonlight Blade? That would be oh, great. freaking Fantastic. epic, dude. I, I think what they'll end up doing is they'll end up folding the WoW subscription at Xbox Games Pass. Probably. And yeah. that'll multiply the WoW player base drastically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then that will allow them to open up more options for people who don't want to pay to play. So basically free-to-play options. Mm -hmm. Because there's no reason to have a sub-based uh, MMO anymore. You make no, so no, much no. more money free-to-play, it's ridiculous. It's true. It's a bad business model. Yeah, well, and... well it's an old one, that's all. Well, and, and Chester, you know, like another thing that I recommend is like, take a look at these indie companies too. We got Zade Studios with Beckoned. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just a prototype demo, but already it's the most fun JRPG style action game I've ever played. I have so much fun with that. And I'm yeah. like, oh God, would you guys hurry up and pull out the full game so I could just throw money at you, please? <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I pay attention to all that stuff, although I don't play those things as much as I used to. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, I would if I had something like uh, I love Black Desert, but they talk about epic screw up with their whole loot box crap, dude. I mean, they, they yeah, do yeah. just that the grind in that game was so annoying. It is harsh. <laughs> it is harsh. But uh, 
you know, I'm. I know I've I mentioned a Chinese uh, RPG that you M- MMO that you can't play unless you know how to cheat it. BPM, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, but you know, Korean ones they've got the well, government there is kind of it's a, uh, Well, it is Perfect World, but it it, it is the <laughs> most it is the most gorgeous a game game ever made. I love made, Perfect dude. World too. You got to have a hack client to play. Yeah, no, right, right, right. <laughs> uh, but uh, but uh, those things the Chinese put out. Now, to be fair, they have slave labor. Let, let's be fair. Yeah. That's why they can put that kind of quality out. But Microsoft is freaking Microsoft. If anybody yeah, yeah. can figure it out, they can. So. I'd like well, to well, Diablo MMO. Screen. That'd be awesome. Well, D four is going to be very much more MMO than than the other right, ones. I think it could be like um, what's it called? Um, Lost Ark, because that was really good. I don't know. That. We'll see. You know, but from what I understand, it's going to be much more, uh, much more open world, much, much grander in scope than because yeah, the third one was a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you mentioned Ark there, um, and uh, I actually got a bunch of junior high school kids in the in my school that love Ark, and I was like, that thing's still going on. Yeah. So it's interesting. Uh, but, of course, I, I would talk about World of Warcraft, but, you know, all, Overwatch needs overhauling. Uh, Diablo needs, you know, a lifeline. Call of Duty, my God, they need to really rethink that. Uh, and there's to stop making what? it. StarCraft is dead. Um, yeah. Which is a shame. Which is uh, a shame, yeah. Andy Crush is still going strong, but that's, you know, yeah, that's a mobile game. game. Is. Women yeah. play that. My yeah, wife plays King it all the time. A, yeah, King is definitely a heavy hitter in the mobile market. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, I I saw this news and I was like, oh, we got to talk about this because uh, that is huge, dude. That, Here's yeah. the main problem with with three of those games, the three Blizzard game. Well, I guess four of them are Blizzard games, but the three that are on there that are still going, because uh, StarCraft is basically dead. Yeah. They need to figure out the identity of the game they want to make and make it. They cannot continue to pretend that they can make every game. In, in one game yeah. and let you go. Like, Overwatch is a mess because it's way too, there's way too much going on in Overwatch. It's it's a shooter that's... It's just... It's the they they tried to reinvent the wheel, is it what came, I'm saying with the shooter. They clums, clumsy. And, and they failed. They did. Um, whereas Apex Legends was uh, uh, definitely a smoother, uh, more streamlined. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Overwatch, you know, because I did play a bunch of that, um, you know, a lot of people want to talk about all, all the lesbian and gay characters, but that's not really, I mean, okay, that's stupid, but that's not the problem. The game no. is clunky as shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, and then WoW, like WoW's problems are systemic and deep. Uh, whether it's the constant rat race, feeling like you're a hamster on a wheel, the fact that it takes way too long to do basic things like unlock flying, just nonsense. Stuff that just wastes your time and makes you feel like your time's being wasted. And a lot of that has to do with an identity crisis at the top of the company, not knowing what game they want to make. Do they want to make a hardcore rating game? Okay, make that and people will play it. Do you want to make a game that's great for PvP? Okay, make that and people will play it. Do you want to make a game that has a cool story that's like open worldy and like a like a like a chill experience? Okay, make that and people will play it. But you cannot make all three at once. You've tried and you've failed. So you need to pick one and run with it. Well, these well, games haven't that, so. learned to give that end game experience at all levels. Yes, exactly. That's true. That's that's about MMOs. That is a problem. Yeah, that's true. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, the, you maybe you talk about that uh, uh, ideas and, and sticking to it. Uh, it made me immediately think of a game called Raiders. Uh, Raiders. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. You remember the, and the that. Z, right? That was great. Yeah, fun. It was really good. There's still yeah. private servers out there for it. <laughs> right, but they pulled it and said they were going to re reskin it and and, and make it, it better. I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? Oh, it never happened. No. It yeah. Never what a shame, dude. Played it on a private server because that combat was a lot of fun. It was yeah, it was inter- It was a lot different from all the yeah. I liked well. it. I loved that game quite a bit. And yeah. uh, Alan here is mentioning Heroes of the Storm, which is a MOBA. Um, I have and... played it, but it's not as good as League of Legends. Yeah, I, no I didn't idea. mind it though. I did. I, I it was fun, it. but it was. It's like the simplified version of LOL, is what it. Was. I want to know who at <laughs> Blizzard was the dumbass that let MOBAs get away from them. Yeah, <laughs> how did that happen? Right? <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. I hope that person was fired. Like. As soon as League of Legends made its first billion, was like, all right, you're yeah. done. Time to go. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but but anyway, um, uh, of course, uh, I'm going to move on to the next story. But the one thing that this article definitely shows us is all those troubles that Blizzard has are over because everyone's getting fired. Yeah, Everybody. Microsoft will not tolerate Clean it. Clean house, yeah. dude. Yeah. It's going to be done. Yeah. yeah. And that includes It'd be nice all the... to see what they do. Well, no, they'll definitely have to. Uh, and all, and a lot of the problems, keep in mind, it's not uh, the real real issues are the woke people over there. They're the ones making yep. all the noise. Because if you look at a lot of the complaints, that what they're complaining about is boys and girls in the office having relationships, and we don't like it. That's the yep. ultimate complaint, right? Um, yeah. The, just fire everybody, dude. Fire them all. <laughs> fire them all. <laughs> Let dogs sort them out. That's right. Ten least woke TV shows to detox the mind. Okay. Slade Hale. First yeah. of all, Mr. Slade Hale, you have a supervillain name, and I love it. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, this is going to be fun. Let's go through it. And uh, I, uh, all of these shows are epic, dude, by the way. Uh, but uh, Seinfeld. Now, I never watched Seinfeld, but I understand that it has a it. huge following. Anybody here a Seinfeld yeah. fan? Of course. Um, in the late 90s, mid to late 90s, and it started technically in the 80s, I believe, but mid to late 90s, it was, I mean, it went off at number one. I think the last episode had over 70 million viewers, something like that. Uh, the, the finale, finale. Yeah. It was it was huge. It was a big deal. Yeah. It w- I think it was the last angry. show to go Sorry. off at number one. I could be wrong about yeah. that, but I think it, so. It was the most engaging show that was about nothing. Yes. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Uh, Elrod <laughs> says, WoW is more a rabid fan base than a game at this point. That's fair. Uh, but yeah. my yeah. point is, I agree. with Microsoft, they can make it something again and draw people like me back. Right? Yes, I would love to love World of Warcraft again. I would love to, but I just, I just don't. Yeah. Just don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Uh, well, I don't know much by Seinfeld, but I know it was mega popular though. Uh, this I adored as a child. Oh, I hate this love it! Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Poor yeah. Twiggy. Bucky. Poor Twiggy. Oh, right? no, <laughs> yeah, because he died of diabetes. Diabetes. Oh, he did. That's true. That is true. <laughs> uh, but uh, the the first season was way way better than the second season because they got stupid. Uh, but uh, isn't that how it goes? But the first season was freaking epic and it was awesome. And every oh. season, they should have kept with that, you know, fighting the emperor uh, uh, whole whole line, right? Stuck with mm. the Ming the Merciless basically uh, type of storyline. But they didn't. But anyway, adored this. Uh, uh, Rabbit, did you watch this? Yeah, I've seen. I, I mean, I don't remember it that well, but yeah, I definitely loved it when it was on. I, I remember the robot and everything more than I suppose everything else. But yeah, but, I remember the theme. I'll see what I'll see what else was on the list before I mention other things. But it was yeah, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I'd watch it again, probably. It's been a, it's a long, long time since I've seen it. Who? Oh, uh, 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 rabbit. Uh, no, no, not rabbit. Uh, Tank. Uh, who was the the? What was the name of the uh, second? I think it was second season. The hawk guy. Oh. Dude, I loved him, and I don't remember his name at all. But he was yeah, cool. he was the best part of the totally, season. Yeah, Bird per- in Rick and Morty, he's known as Bird Person. Yeah, well, fair yeah. enough. Uh, but uh, it, it's it's funny. It was funny, and of course uh, we have uh, the hottie, and she was a hottie. Uh, let's be fair. And we got Gil Gerard. Uh, he was for the ladies. Uh, he was a hottie. But yeah. the reason why this show died after two seasons is him, though. He was an absolute prima donna and a major pain in the ass. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Any comments on this one, Thunder? Nope. Yeah. I loved it, though. Uh, and Aaron the comics Gray are good, too. In my heart. Way. Yeah, they were. And Aaron Gray is still in my heart. Oh, dude, she's, she's gorgeous. She's Goldie Hawn and those nightly remembered. Yeah, she is wonderful. Uh, but uh, if you haven't read the comics, uh, there are, of course, the old. This is a very old character, by the way, guys. Uh, but uh, there's some really, really good Buck Roger comics, by the way. Um, anyway, moving on here. Uh, of course, we already had this mentioned. So we'll let uh, uh, Thundera handle the Mr. Selleck. You're going to let me handle Mr. Selleck? Blue Bloods. What do, what do you want me to do with Mr. Selleck? Well, I'm I, very thought, confused. Uh, I thought you loved him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's okay. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I do like I the thing I like about old Tom, Tom's a, a little bit before my time. But the thing I do like about old Tommy Selleck is the shorts the man could pull off, unironically just walk around <laughs> in these short, basically booty shorts, yeah. and still be the most manly man in the room. 
is impressive. <laughs> it's an impressive level of manliness. <laughs> you know, he owned a house on Ocean Road in my hometown. Uh, there's a lot of millionaire mansions or uh, in my hometown. Uh, there's a lot of celebrities own them. Uh, but he owned a, a mansion right next to Lorenzo Lamas. Do you guys remember him? I do. Yeah. Now, Lorenzo. I, yeah, I know. I never saw Tom around town. Uh, although people said he he owned it, so I don't really know if he did or not. I know Lorenzo did because he drove around in a red Ferrari all the time down in uh, Narragansett. That props. Yeah. props. It's awesome. It's awesome, Renegade baby. Uh, right. Anyway, move on. Oh, oh, then oh, this this one. Yeah. Oh, God. There it is. There's the masterpiece. Star Trek: The Next Generation. I wouldn't say it's unwoke though. It's just a different no. kind of woke. No. It's yeah. it's pre woke. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, heavily liberal themes in this show oh, and yeah. not, not liberal, like classical liberal. There are those too. That's why it's great. But they very much, uh, we have to accept everybody nonsense is, is all throughout this show. And I love the next generation. Don't get me wrong. It's probably my favorite TV show of all time, oh, yeah. but that I mean, we have to call a spade a spade. That's definitely in there. There's a, there's a lot of uh, preaching into that regard. That the ridiculous twist where they were trying to be up, play up uh, global warming with the, with yeah. they can't warp any too fast or it's causing rips in the space. Right, rah, right. Rah, rah. Just well, nonsense stuff four, like that. Season four and beyond, it got a lot better. Uh, but the major yeah. absolute failing of this show, and and that she'll never forgive them for this, is not vaporize, vaporizing fucking Wesley uh, uh, Crusher. That's the <laughs> failing. Thank well, you. they did basically shoot him out of an airlock into space. So. Okay. <laughs> they just jettisoned him off the show. <laughs> Shut up, Wesley. Not you. Shut up, Wesley. <laughs> I don't watch it, and even I know Wesley was a dick. <laughs> yeah, no, oh. he still is. It still is. Yeah, he is in uh, real life. Um, what's the uh, uh, the Beta Z? Uh, what's her name? Maria Sirtas. Uh, yeah, Troy. Yeah, Sirtas. yeah, Troy. Maria. Uh, Maria. Uh, now, I thought that was very interesting because uh, when this show came out, I was at the age where I was into the all you know super hardcore horror movies and rough super rough action i was into that and i knew who she was when i saw her on the show because she did a lot of soft porn shit dude basically yeah right and uh you know these are movie movies but they're a lot of nudity right back in the 70s right in the early 80s and she did a lot of that stuff and i was like huh but if you watch the show and you don't know that you'd never know she sells it well dude mm-hmm. yeah and she is yeah. a hottie by the way Absolutely. She's all right. No, no. I, I always actually personally, I always liked uh, Crusher better, but Crusher more than her. Eh, she's a pretty yeah, lady, Kate but I, yeah, yeah. But I've seen every inch of her. Yeah, yeah. she's hotty. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, uh, of course, uh, the yeah. man himself. I can't, I can't watch Doctor Who anymore. <clears throat> it, it breaks my heart. It I just does. Can't do it. I can't I bring understand. myself to do it. Uh, but the next one as well. <laughs> well, no, they're bringing David Tennant back, dude. That's you don't watch rumor. any of these things, really. Yeah. yeah. But it, none of it matters unless they completely undo the last couple of runs. Just wipe those away. Well, if they don't do that, that bad. Then, it's oh, very it's bad. terrible. Yeah, it's really they bad. literally rewrote the entire canon of the show. I'm not exaggerating. No, they rewrote they the whole I don't thing. watch it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've but, seen older episodes back in the day, but I'm, oh, yeah, I've never watched it. I'll hold but on to the memory of those. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I grew up with this dude right here. I loved his Doctor Yeah, yeah. See, I remember, um, remember this kind of thing. Uh, but. You know, I, I think the idea is oh, with David Tennant coming back, they can just basically retcon everything out. I hope so, because that's the only way you're saving that show. The train wreck of, of Chibnall has been whew, a train wreck. Yeah, exactly. Really that's why they're bringing him back. I, I will not only give them a pass, but I will praise them if it was all just a bad dream. Yeah. No. He just wakes <laughs> up. Oh, yeah. the, guy, the oh. biggest cop in story yeah. telling history. This it's guy is in the Dungeon <sighs> Dragons movie, by the way. He's a terrible one. Yeah, but he's a terrible yeah. one. He plays an elf leader, and he's got a bunch of hotties lounging. Is that him? Sweet. Really? Yes, I, um, that's awesome, dude. I watched an interview he gave back way back in the day to the BBC, right as he was getting ready to leave the show. And the the interviewer asked him, "So, what are your plans now?" He said, "Oh, I guess I'll just go away for a while." And that's pretty much what he did. He just went away for a while. <laughs> he did. Yeah. 
Ah, yeah. Tom. Ah, Tom Baker. Look at that man. That is the most British looking man I've ever seen in my life. Holy cow. He was cow. awesome. Tom Baker is badass, dude. I, I absolutely loved him, man. Um, he was so cool. Uh, but, but there's no way you could doubt that he's British. Look at him. No. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I had a friend of mine who, while he was on vacation in Mexico, uh, and he was taking a tour of some ruins, he came across Mr. Baker, and they basically LARPed a Doctor Who adventure and nearly got kicked out of the National Park for I doing like it. I like that. Uh, oh, they cool. went on a fantastic adventure, and it was just like the Doctor and a companion. And, and, the, and a companion. Oh, that's cool. And they had so much fun. He is such a fun person in real life. Uh, he does love the fans. That is something that's known about him. Uh, but he was so much fun, and he was so quirky and perfect Doctor Who material. And, uh, you know, I shall always call them uh, Jelly Babies. Mm-hmm. Unlike their proper term, jelly beans. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, je- jelly beans and jelly babies are two different things. In this, no, country. no, you shut up, Mister no, British are. man. Because jelly babies <laughs> are shaped like little little babies in the jelly inside, and je- jelly beans are different, like. are chewy. <laughs> young, Actually, young. Yeah, this is another um, thing I never watched. I didn't know that. Early teenage me watching Lex on Sci Fi Channel. Woof. I-, I liked Lex, dude. I enjoyed this show. I did too. Good. That that last season, especially, was esoteric as hell like they were like they were telling some deep ass shit for a show about fucking i'm gonna tell you right now (laughs) it's true it was a weird odd show that took it just challenged every damn boundary dude uh and it was neat yeah yeah it's kind of like very interesting i'm sorry go ahead lex and farscape farscape yeah grossly underrated I love Foster, yeah. Man. Yeah. Well, those two shows that were doing something very different with your crew on a ship in space. It was very different. Uh, Firefly too was doing something. Yeah, different. that was great as well. Yeah. yeah. I um, one of the things uh, I really liked about uh, Farscape was that you had your your badass male characters and you had a badass female character on board the ship, and the female characters were badass and they were like everybody on that crew throughout all their flaws was inherently badass. Yeah. Even the little, oh, except for maybe the, the uh, weak dude, the old guy, whatever. The, I can't remember his name. Yeah, but the he was badass thing. intellectually when he when it was. Yeah, he had some good yeah. moments, I suppose as well. Yeah, right? he yeah, had his around. moments too. Even though he was kind of like the plucky comic puntable relief. I, I loved yeah, that show, especially when it, when well, Brian a, got um, Scorpio in his head. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the 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 Lex is the name of the ship, by the way. Yes. Uh, but um, okay. yeah, Love it was brother. it was a cool show, man. I don't you know. Oh, are you being served? I was just talking about this with Paul Roper <laughs> this is, this, earlier this today. Is on yesterday. <laughs> this is on, this is on love, TV all the time. Show. Over here. <laughs> it's a British show, it looks like. It is, yeah. It, it is. is. It's very, British. Yeah, very, very British. Very, very British. Very. You know this <laughs> one, It's very fucking funny. <laughs> Which one? Sorry, my thing froze again. Oh, are yeah. You are you being, being served? served? No, I don't, actually. I've never I don't I've really heard really of it. I don't think I've ever seen it. It looks like it would be funny. Is it multi Lord department store sitcom British yeah. as all it is well, as British as British gets. Is it Faulty Towers level or Thin Blue Run Line with Rowan Atkinson level? It's, I don't, it's just classic old school British comedy. It's like a lot yeah. of stuff back from back then. To be honest with you, it is a monster it's of its own. Very creation. typical, yeah. The very typical kind of same. After watching an episode, you'd know, you know, you'd, you'd kind of recognize the humor and the Britishness yeah. to it. I suppose, oh, I love those old British stuff, dude. I have to check it out because it's probably something I'd like. Uh, but cool. I, I still have cold hearted social ticks that I blame on this show. Oh, really? Some of the young ones is on this list. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, cops. <laughs> I never watched this show. What is it? Is it an American? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, it's a What you gonna do? Oh, it was on forever. What you gonna do dude, when they come? Oh, boy, you. Nobody right. gonna give you no chicken. Like why? No chicken. Why? I don't know. Uh, Black people get upset when you talk about fried chicken and watermelon, though, which I don't understand. Because everybody likes no fried big... chicken and watermelon. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's... wrong. No, wrong. The Japanese no. like it. The Japanese like it so much they literally change the shape of watermelons. They Except do. my six foot five black friend Larry, he despises fried chicken and watermelon. He doesn't like fried food and watermelon's too sweet. Huh. Uh, well, he's weird. And, yeah. <laughs> he is weird. Well, he's weird. Yeah. You know, it was funny. You, you, since you talk about a tall black guy, it's it, it shaking my memories. I was living in Taipei, 
a uh, long yeah. time ago. It was before I was married. My wife and I were dating. We had an apartment in kind of like a Times Square area of Taipei. It was great. Uh, but anyway, I had I had a group of friends, and some of them were Taiwanese, and some of them were foreigners. <laughs> and there was an American. His name was Glenn. A uh, really sweet guy. Really nice. Uh, he must have been 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, something like this gigantically tall black dude. Uh, and he was uh, he was a computer programmer. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Glenn was super cool. Uh, I liked him. Uh, but I'm sitting there in bed. Uh, my wife and I, uh, or my girlfriend and I are sleeping. And uh, uh, in Taipei, they have these, um, your doorbell is actually a video phone. That's kind of the, what they have over there. And it goes off. It's the freaking middle of the night. It's got like two or three in the morning, right? And, and I go over and uh, I look and I see it's Glenn. And I, I hit the button and say, yeah. He's like, I got a problem, man. Can I come up? I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. I buzzed him in, uh, made sure uh, uh, the, the my girlfriend was, you know, my wife, now current wife, uh, was uh, dressed, and uh, he came up, and he's all bloody, and I'm like, what the hell? Uh, and he's like, I was down at this, uh, there's this like kind of nightclub area. I was down there, and a bunch of guys jumped me, and they stole my phone, man. Can you help me get it back? And I, I just thought it was, and I, I did, I went and got his, his phone back, but you know, here's this gigantic black guy. I mean, he's, it, I'm a tall guy, but he's tall, right? Mm-hmm. Here's this gigantic black guy coming to ask me to deal with getting his phone back. <laughs> it's just, what the hell, dude? How the hell did you let him take it in the first place? And of course it wasn't hard. I went down there, I gave him that look and basically I'm going to, I will wreck every fucking one of you. And they turned it over. There was no fight. They handed it over to me. No problem. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm like, okay. how I, I looked at him. I said, dude, how did this happen? You're a freaking nightmare. You're, I mean, he, this guy is black, black. Right. I mean, he's he's, mm-hmm. you know, Honto the color black and he's sick. Got to be at least six, seven. And he's in Asia. You're a terrifying, dude. How in the hell did you let him take your phone? Anyway, sorry. <sighs> he's in Asia. <laughs> Asians are terrified of blacks. If you didn't know this. Right? He's legally classified as Kaiju. He is, dude. <laughs> And it, 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 I don't know what it was, and, and it was extra funny because I didn't have to. I didn't have to crack any heads at all to get that phone back, right? Because it's so, okay. usually it's about presence. You don't need to necessarily get violent all the time. Uh, but I just thought that was the funniest damn thing, man. I didn't get it. Anyway, I'm sorry. Moving on. Uh oh oh oh. What? Plastic Walker. Yeah, you can't go wrong. They got the okay, the new so Supernatural boy doing it. Anybody seen that one? I've seen it. It's it's more of a soap opera than Texas Ranger, though, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, li- I like right. Supernatural, so I watched it. But, yeah, it's all right. It's nothing special. Yeah. yeah. Now, Chuck is just Chuck. Now, this is a dude that yeah. understands presence. He's just he's Mr. Badass. That's, that's who he is. Yeah, yeah but... You know, I, I heard he caught the plague, and, uh, you know, died. now the plague has been quarantined for the next two weeks. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, but, uh, you know, old Chuck, he... You know, he is actually a very accomplished, he's an actual accomplished fighter. Um, yeah, he was He was really big back in the day. Wasn't he, he was. And yeah. he's responsible for two things. One, the American uh, military, uh, you, know, you know, the army and stuff like that, using mm-hmm. karate as their training for their soldiers. Mm-hmm. And the American Karate Association. These are both yes. coming out of this dude. Yes. Yeah. Very and nice. he's. He, even though he's popularly famous for his roundhouse kick, it's his stepping side thrust kick that he learned from Bruce Lee that uh, won him all those championships that made him like, dude, he'd kick you in the chest. You were done. You didn't want to play anymore. Yeah. yeah I love it when you've seen his old movies and you see how quick Chuck Norris is as well when he actually yeah. does, you know, he's very quick. Like, I mean, he's, obviously all his movies are very like B movie. Over, over Here's what I like but, about Chuck Norris the best is his actual real name is Carlos. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like He's the dude just, just gets, rips dude. cool. Right? Like he, my name's Carlos, but you can call me Chuck. All right, you're awesome. You're in. Come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, you know, Walker Texas Ranger. I've seen a bunch of these episodes. I haven't watched yeah. all of them, but uh, they even did like <laughs> random movies of it, didn't they, as well, if I remember. They did. They did, like T V mm-hmm. movies. But I mean, you know, Chuck Norris, dude. I mean, come on. Mm. Uh, it's, yeah. it's a given. Yeah. Come on. Uh, oh, oh, a modern classic. It is a modern classic, and I recommend everybody watch it. 
Cobra Kai. Yeah. It is, it is way too it. well written for what it is. It is. I love Johnny. <laughs> is, All the I'm shit Johnny comes out with. Yeah. I felt that the third season was a bit clunky and felt yeah. a little commercial, but I'm yeah. nagging because I did it enjoy did, it. It did have yeah. some very good lines in it. Uh, and I, I like some it. of the character development, like that that one character that realized, like it's like that moment in the extended universe for Star Wars where Luke goes, well, "Wait a minute, maybe the dark side is evil." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> well, and we got that Mara Jade moment going on with the other character, and I, I love, uh, you know, I'm always rooting for uh, for Hair Lip, and great things happen with him. So if you haven't seen it, I do highly recommend it. Um, oh. for, uh, next season is probably going to be badass because well, I, I don't want to ruin it. I suppose if no one's yeah, seen no, it, yeah, no, I hear season, but... I hear a lot of rumors with this one. Yeah. Big thing. This is this is what I'm talking about when I say, dude, support your indie projects. Those two guys in this picture, those are those two guys. They pooled all their resources to make this happen in the beginning, and oh, they've got they? commercial endorsements. They're growing bigger and bigger. Indie can can supplant mainstream it can oh indies yeah indie nowadays especially is yeah. cinema mm-hmm. well you see a lot like there's like that um there's that horror youtube channel what's it called come on but i watched that they do a lot of like really cool indie movies on there obviously things like this got bigger but get indie games as well just indie everything like indie comics it's all starting to it's got more interest to a lot of people than mainstream does now the other like. thing this show has done that other shows have failed to do is it consistently makes sense even if it yeah. catches you off guard with something, so far anyway, they haven't done anything that's just, what the hell? Like, just complete nonsense should never yeah. have happened. That hasn't happened. It's just and consistently it good storytelling, and I, I just, yeah. it's a show about freaking Karate Kid. Like, and how does they, that? Yeah. <laughs> and they acknowledge the stuff that the Wokies cry about yeah. in a manner that. that is like, yeah. hey, man. We may not accept you, but we tolerate you, and that's what yep. we're. That was the original. Remember, that's the original goal poster we were headed towards before they moved it. Was tolerance, right? Yeah, a little <laughs> empathy, a little humanity. We hit I also it, like uh, we're doing good. It's like Johnny says stuff though, and it? it's like, what was it? And then like, he's just trying to recruit them women in the last one. And so and she's, oh, do you accept gender fluids? And it's like, oh yeah, you get plenty of fluids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's like it's so fucking funny. It's beautiful joke on on the current social dynamics i thought it yeah. was very intelligent you know not i like also kind of like on it but how they take the most insufferable what well, could have been the most insufferable character and immediately turn her into a bad guy i love that yeah i loved well, it i was like oh yeah they know what they're doing i haven't personally watched this but my wife has so i've seen a bunch of chunks of uh, episodes and uh bringing back the hottie asian girl i was happy with that uh, but um, uh, one thing I did notice, though, uh, that yeah. is a bit unfortunate, is a lot of the kids, uh, their martial arts is really bad. Oh, it's yeah, terrible. I, I, I applaud them for actually doing the real martial arts and not Hollywooding it up. Mm. Um, but, oh my mm-hmm. goodness gracious, these people need to get together and do class for real, real. For real, real, not yeah. Just, not just with their trainer, away from their trainer. Away from their yeah. coach. There's a few of the boys that can do choreography, though. Yeah, I feel like the guy who plays yeah. Hawk, he does okay job sometimes. Um, yeah. Like... Oh, the the Russo girl, she is a prince. I can tell right now that she's a stage princess yeah. because she is not putting in the hard work. Her choreography is very sloppy. The other girl, uh, the other main girl, like she, I could tell she's putting in the hard work. Dude, she's got some pipes on her, man. Some pythons. Like, did you see that muscle definition she's got going on yeah, on her arms? Fat. You know, well, she's she has she's still got a little chunkiness, but she needs to pick up no, her cardio regimen. She's got regimen. a lot of chunkiness. Yeah, a whole. Well, she needs to pick up her car- cardio regimen and set down the carbs. Yeah, but, but no, I, I see what you're good. saying, though. I get what you're saying. Yeah, you, you're talking about give... Larusso's daughter, right? She's uh-huh. the good. She's the good. The good girl, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um her, supposed to be. Her her supposed to be, yeah. Her standing uh, horse stance uh punches are wow, Lazy. dude. Wow. Lazy. I don't think she could break tissue paper, dude. Dude, I Yeah, no. It's no, I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, uh, you but... know, before we move on, speaking of awesome martial arts, Chester, I would like to read some comments from the chat. Yes. It's all Chuck Norris comments. I know they're all they've been going off. <laughs> 
All right, Chuck Norris D and Q in three weeks. Thursday, March tenth is Chuck Norris's uh, br- no, birthday. No, and we're actually doing a uh, 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 Gun Demon, but okay. Yeah, I thought we were doing Gun Demon on the tenth. Yeah. <laughs> That's February tenth. Uh, I like this oh. one from uh, uh, what Jeff. tenth? Did you say it was? Uh, February tenth. Yeah, February tenth. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Norris but... can play the violin with a piano. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Norris doesn't wear a watch. Chuck Norris tells time what it is. That's right. The grass That's right. isn't greener on the other side of for Chuck Norris. It's brown and stained with blood, tears, and the stench of agony. There is no chin behind Chuck Norris's beard. Only another fist. That's right. That's a legend. I hear. When Chuck Norris enters a room, he doesn't turn the lights on. He turns the dark off. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we mention Chuck Norris, this happens. By the way, this just I, I constant love it. scroll of Chuck Norris memes. Uh, it's awesome. And I'm trying to keep up with it because it's such yeah. a beautiful thing. Uh, <laughs> Chuck Norris can speak Braille. <laughs> That's fine. Jack be nimble. Jack was quick, but he still couldn't dodge Chuck Norris's roundhouse kick. Mm-hmm. Take that, uh, 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 Cinema Sins. Take yeah, care. absolutely, dude. All right. So, uh, but yeah, no, a lot of good things about Cobra Kai. People are really enjoying it and, and having fun. And that's the whole point. So, you know, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Uh, but uh, these are some things to watch for damn sure. Uh, uh, I definitely want to watch some of this one here. Uh, this uh, Are You Being Served? I should check that out. Um, <clears throat> and of course, now, Lex was awesome. Yeah. I want to point out one thing out of this, yeah. right? Out of all this coolness, right? The one thing that is modern is indie. I'm just putting that out there. Take it as you will. Indiana Jones? No, independent. Little guy. Oh, no, no. We've been pushing that for years here, dude. Uh, But uh, that was a fun list, though. That was a fun Mm -hmm. list. It Uh, was a good one. And there's good things to watch there and have some fun. Uh, You know, it's unfortunate uh, you know, we saw Netflix lost what fifty billion dollars the other day, literally fifty billion. Um, yeah, and if, and if they stop canceling all the fucking shows in the second season, maybe they'd well, moan more. But the thing is, if you go over there, the only thing that's you can watch is if you person who likes watching old things again, which I'm not, mm-hmm. or foreign stuff, right? The actual made for Netflix is absolutely crap. My watch was wa- my wife was watching this <clears throat> supposed food show, Midnight Asia, right? Because she likes food shows, and that's fine. I we can watch it together and enjoy it. And you mm-hmm. know, <clears throat> every damn episode, it's you know, there's a little bit of food conversation, but mainly they're talking about the gay representation and gay life in various cities around the world. And it's like, of course, <laughs> Netflix made that. Of course, they did. It's like, dude, you're gonna talk about the high percentage of 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 homosexual people in the field of home economics. Come on, dude. Like, it's like, oh, that ballet dancer over there, he's gay. I'm no. not surprised. This is really? this is a nothing burger. Yeah, but it had, but it had nothing to do with food. Yeah, dumbasses. Uh, but that's the they problem. They serve food and and a whole lot of nothing burgers is what I'm hearing. It's so much crap. Uh, but anyway, that was cool. <laughs> uh, let's move on here. I do have a, a last story which is connected to this one actually. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, uh, Thunder. Kevin Costner's Yellowstone obliterates woke peers to become most watched TV show since The Walking Dead. That's good. Yeah. Ooh. Now, who watches Yellowstone? I heard Yellowstone bad things here? about the new season, though. I, I haven't watched I have it. I of it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm just hearing about it for the first time. Well, yeah, it is it. Kevin Costner. I watched a couple of episodes. Uh, this is basically a modern Dallas. Now, I don't okay. like dramas like that, Sounds so it's not my thing. However... Uh, it isn't woke at all. I can tell you that. This is cowboy life type of shit, right? Um, so uh, good for Kevin Costner, uh, you know, oh. and good for Yellowstone. I know a lot of people adore this show. It's become very, very popular. It's very, very male uh, oriented, and even the uh, his daughter is quite male. Yeah, I like the fact that he's another big actor as well, doing something that's you know not woke. Yeah, no, and, and right. you know, I didn't even know Kevin was doing this, but I heard so many people talking about it. I was like, I should watch it, so I went and watched I it, do. and it's yeah. fine. It's really well done. It's absolutely nice. epically done. It's just I don't care for Dallas stuff personally. 
Anybody here watch it? Nope. No. No. Huh? no. But I'm going to check it out. I've yeah, never heard I of mean, it until you just said it. If you like stuff like Dallas or Dynasty, if that's the thing you like, drama, then you would like it. Yeah, and and it, oh. the production value is off the chart. It's amazing. It's really really well done. It's beautiful. Uh, we get some really good. Uh, you know, this is around uh, uh, Yellowstone Park. I don't think it's in Wyoming. I think it's in Montana. Uh, but um, if I remember correctly, but it's just gorgeous. God's country out there. It is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and the acting is is impeccable. So, you know. Yeah, that's good. It's a shame. Uh... It's a shame I, I don't care about TV anymore at all. They, they've completely mm-hmm. driven me away from it. The only show I, I really, really like is Cobra Kai. Witcher's okay, yeah. but if, I, if it went away tomorrow, I wouldn't be that heartbroken about it. No, it, but it, Cobra it, Kai, I would be. Put more Henry Cavill in it, and it would have a you'd have a mega hit, right? Yeah, but you know they they won't because that's not what they're trying to do. Uh, but uh, this is his daughter here, and uh, yeah, she's a bitch. Real hardcore one. I didn't care okay. for that very much. Uh, but the, she's not the woke bitch though. She's like that rich, you know, rich cow, you know, cowgirl bitch type. Mm. So, okay, the yeah. entitled ranch ass. Yeah, and uh, she she gets That's... naked a little bit if you're interested in that. So you know, who doesn't like naked time? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. No, I, okay, yeah, she's, she's, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's that. I did have a, a thing for backup here to look at some of the just, this, I, I don't know why, but this absolutely <laughs> vapid entertainment news uh, stuff. Paris Hilton is still around. I thought she was doing sex videos, porn or something like that. What's going on? Um, why, can someone explain to me why these celebritettes, these starlet girls, well, she's not a starlet, but, you know, these these celebrity girls, why they mm-hmm. think leaked sex videos are good for their career? Can someone tell me? they are. Things? How, how, how? How? Kim Kardashian made billion, a billion dollars off of it. Yeah, I I have zero respect for Kim Kardashian, whatever the fuck her name is, Armenian. She's still got a lot of money. Um. But no, it, I mean, it is. It's because our society is so fucking screwed up, so degenerate, that yeah. uh, they've been rewarded greatly for it. In, now, in obviously, not habit. all of them are, but yes. Not all of them are, but uh, many of them are. Paris made lots of money off of hers because of the brand recognition, and Kim made obscene amounts of money. Just That's how she became anything. It was a sex tape, and then... They that that somehow turned into a show and all this other nonsense and she was off to the races. Dude, she's a freaking Hilton though. I know. Yes. She's aristocracy. It, she is, dude. It's weird. Yeah. It's creepy. Long plowed noble blood line Hiltons. Yeah, I, I don't know why uh, why can't you spell your name properly, Miss Cox? Okay. Um uh, <laughs> I don't even know what a Celine Gamez is. She's all. Oh, no. She's a. She's become Muslim. Sweet. <laughs> she's a weirdo. Um. Uh, you are desperately want to be Lady Die. Okay, that's creepy. Um, right. Yeah. I don't know who you people are, and nor do I care. You're very small. Well, no. You don't want to well, ask those kind of wearing. questions because you got to understand those kind of questions make people disappear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fair enough. Like super villains. Well, there's so many of these little dudes. I mean. Jesus, dude. I mean, what is he, 5'4"? Uh, anyway. Um, uh, Rihanna is, what it, I don't know, with whatever that is. Okay. Uh, good for her for losing <laughs> weight, though. Good for you, Rihanna. Um, Getting in shape, yeah. I don't know what this is. Uh, that I don't know what that is at all. Those boots are way too big for you, boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, isn't that metaphoric for how he takes on life anyways? Just jumps into shoes too big for him? Well, um, who is it? Kanye West. Tez at the bottom. Uh, you I don't, don't know, know which version you're getting. Crazy, smart, or crazy smart? Oh, he's that rapper that tried to be a Trump supporter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's nuts, yeah. if I remember yeah, right. He can't sing yeah. for shit. <laughs> but brilliant. He is. I gotta give props where props are due, man. Some of the stuff he pulls off, I'm like, that's why you've gone from pauper to prince, bro. Props. Um, I don't know who this person is, but ma, she's kind of cute. No, that name. What is that name? 
I don't know. They spell there. Uh, Karushe Tran. Okay, are you are you man? Are you boy? Um, what the fat ass is that? Oh, that's a Kardashian. Okay, that's Kim. Fat yeah. ass, yeah. dude. A lot of implants. A lot of implants. It's so creepy, dude. Uh, why are you still in existence? Haven't you been canceled five, ten times already? Jesus yeah. Christ. For real. Yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> not more short people. Uh, Benedict and Hiddleston. Now, I, I've never seen uh, Benedict, but my daughter went to the Tokyo Comic Con, and she, I, pay, I paid a lot of money for her to meet him. Uh, Jesus. Uh, he's little, dude. He's very little. So right Benedict here, they, I, and he always looks like he's six feet tall on film. He does. Yeah, he, sells yeah. it. <laughs> he sells it. Yeah. He does. Yeah, he does. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yo, I hope you're happy, sir. I paid a lot of money for my daughter to get his autograph from you, sir. Fine. Yeah, good actors. I want to keep them to keep up the good work. Uh, Even these guys if I haven't enjoyed job. the production they've been in, I've enjoyed their part in it. Yeah, no, no, no. I like these guys. These guys, especially. Ben I think they're both very, uh, very professional actors, too, and I appreciate yeah. the professionalism. Yeah, they are thespians, as you, you say. Yeah. They are, actually. Uh, both yes. of them. I don't know what this is. That's a model, I think. She's a fashion so guru. Who says? What like what is she doing? Shopping out of the dumpster behind Goodwill? Oh, it looks like crazy cat lady. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, uh, is she gonna throw a cat at me? Sophia Vergara, is she still around? Oh, yeah, well she's got that yeah, she's on that uh on that um on that 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 uh that, that sitcom with Al Bundy. I don't know. I I figure. Uh, 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 oh, is that who she is? She's the Modern uh, Family. That's she's it. The, she's the the hottie family. hottie lady. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. She is and, pretty. Uh, Let's give be fair. Uh, she she's uh she's got a debonair air about her. You know. Yeah, no, I know. I she's cool. Uh, uh, my family watched that show all the time. It, it had some chuckles in it. Um, uh, I don't her, know what this is. the good wine coolers. <laughs> I'm joking. Who, um, uh, I have no clue who that is. I don't know. Gonna start break dancing any second. She will after that photo she was will. taken. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who this is, but those shoes are way too big for you, baby. That's not sexy. I don't know what the and, hell you're wearing. Uh, she might want to open up that purse. I think the the puppy night might need some air. It might to go with that outfit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, okay. All right. That's stylish. Right. That's stylish. Yeah. yeah. That's that's respectable. That's that's got a GQ. You know, GQ yeah. casual. And, sharp and well yes dressed. chat uh, i'm well aware of the idea of uh, of chester uh, uh judging fashion yeah. yeah fuck off yeah it's all right it's all right yeah, yeah. There, we never said these were good takes yes yes um well, that's a normal girl that's, you know. yeah either off to uh, pilates class or to go pick up the kids from soccer practice yeah, that's how my wife dresses like this yeah it's normal yeah I have no idea what that is. Well, I do know that she has a super laser pointed at the Earth, and she wants $1 trillion. She does. That is fair. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, Oriana, uh, it looks like you put some of that weight back on, girl. You get on that diet. You stay on it. Yeah. It's, you know, rocking the leather. Yeah. I dig yeah. it. Yeah. It's, she, looks, she bad. It, She's bad. It looks hot. It looks yeah. hot. It, um, it's a good look. I don't know. I don't know who these people are. Uh Rockin' the Fringe, is that what that's called? Uh, the actress styles a blue ensemble while heading to the Jimmy Kimmel Live. Uh, who is this person? Anybody yeah. know? Yeah. Anybody? I don't know. She, she, but, you know, that that's, you know, it's stylish and respectable. It looks like you're it. going out to do something entertaining. Yeah, mm. no. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, looks like she's out to get laid, is what it looks like. So maybe Jimmy well, Kimmel's going to get some. I, you go, oh, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, right. You go, it's Jimmy. Yeah, right. now, if, if, they're not, uh, if they're not 19 or younger, Jimmy's not interested. Is he one of those, huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. they all are. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steen. Sorry. Yeah. I don't mind. This is very nice. A nice winter um, winter wear, yeah. Uh, I, this guy's just New York. out for, yeah. Going out for a jog, yeah. That's for jog exercise gear. Uh, Loose gym spinning. Time. I don't know who you are, but you go. Uh, I like this. Now, that looks good. Now, that's fashionable. Oh, yeah, that's sharp. That's sharp. Well, yeah, and she's this, a princess. Oh, she's a freaking royal. Oh, that's Kate Middleton. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, there you go. You win. You win so yeah. far, Rabbit. Yeah, your 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 queen is uh, or soon to be queen is uh, the best dressed. She is future queen. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I wish that lady would die and just get on with it. Oh, for crying out loud, it's 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 long overdue. Yeah, long overdue. Lord in heaven. Yeah, we, we need... Imagine die. being her I son. Him. Imagine being her son. Be like, <laughs> bitch, I, I, just I, I, die I, I, already. What is happening? Sure she's trying to outlive him. Uh, she might. She might. She, she might pull it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I tell you what, though. Oh, Kate here, she is a glamorous lady. Uh, and, oh. and she seems yeah. to be a pretty nice human, too, if you listen to well, her. And I think she's very well suited for the role in her future. That, I think so. Uh, she sets a good example. She, she, she's yeah, no got, idea of a one. <laughs> she's got like, uh, you know, she's got a very GQ kind of air uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. about her. She's and, professional. And she is and technically connected to the royal family, technically. So mm -hmm. before she got married. So she is so, inside of yeah. that. But then again, a lot of us are. I'm technically related to Robert the Bruce. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, I, I think it's, I could be uh, president. I think it's actually, I, I think it's actually uh, very fortuitous for the country to have that uh, as being their uh, future regis. I think so. I like her. Uh, I, overall, I like her. She knows when to shut her damn mouth. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, unlike the evil one. <laughs> unlike the other yeah. one, yeah. Uh, I don't know Jesus who this girl Christ. is, but that works. That it works. Worked. It looks sharp. That's That's right. Right. Yeah. Uh, look at me. I got, I've got money and I've got style, and I know yeah. how to use them both. Yeah, she's not a bad. Wonder if them boobs. Wonder if them boobs are real. Yeah, they're sagging. So I'd say yeah. Probably, um, yeah. Why are all the dudes looking like shit? <laughs> though? Come on, man. Dude, represent. What the hell are those shorts, shorts right Toby? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just Colin! Give a shit. Never like, do that's this. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Colin, you're not Tom <laughs> Selleck. You can't pull those off. What are you doing? Off. Yeah, what are you doing, Colin? <laughs> yeah, no. I like Colin Farrell though. He's he's a good actor. I don't yeah. know what the hell that is. What the hell? Is I don't know. You, you can again. have my wallet. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> it's a monkey in progress. Jesus, dude. It's Kanye West again. He's officially changed his name to Ye, if Has I remember he? correctly. Oh, got it. Yeah. Uh, this is very '70s, isn't it? Yeah, that jacket says I have too much money. Mm -hmm. I like the pup, though. Oh, yeah. Good doggo. Mm. But this isn't horrible. Uh, she's bit, no. She needs to eat something. But, you know, yeah. uh, this is just a normal girl. I, you know, it's just... Yeah. I, I I would wonder it, when her next Dungeons & Dragons game is happening. Yes, I, so would I. Uh, th this is... This is... Uh, that's a gay man. Okay. No, I don't yeah. want that car. Yeah, maybe that's definitely a gay man though. Um let's see. Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn. Well, that's there's another gay man right there. Uh well dressed but, one though. Very Tim well is always the most well dressed person in the room. I, that guy's uh, I, I love this uh gentleman's gazette. I I watched this over here on YouTube. Yeah. And I love that stuff, right? Because I love to do dress up GQ. I love to be sharp and there's something about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Makes you makes you feel like a million bucks. It does, and, you know. To be fair, I, I I don't break. I only break the suits out for meetings and stuff, but I do enjoy it when I do. Yeah. But Tim, man, that guy, like, look at that. Look how that tie just pops against it's that perfect, ensemble, yeah. and what, he looks like he's like, like this guy's worth like a couple billion dollars. Yeah, no, he always but, Tim Gunn always looks good. Uh, what is that culture that that he's part of? What do they call that? There's a word for it. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, they do have a name for the culture. And I forget what it is. Yeah, no, but but whatever. You know, he is well dressed, and Heidi, you know, Heidi yep. is absolutely They're all crazy in suits person. and shoes and hats and yeah, yeah. Well all this gentleman stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I dig uh, that. But uh, cool. I don't know who you are, but you know, you're just out for a day. It well, looks fine. Yeah, uh, Rihanna. I told you to lose weight. What are you doing? Dude, what is this? A time lapse of her putting on pounds? Uh, she, yeah, she has, you know, I, you know, it's not very flattering. People who put that out there on the internet to begin with, yeah, it's not you know, nice. I, I, I don't really think she's much of a singer, but she seems like a nice girl. But she's she, had a she's lot of trouble too. She's not just and She has problem with it. You know, I, I, I can understand it. <clears throat> you know, I get it. I don't know who you are, but uh, uh, you're, 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 you, she wants to get laid. Look she went the other way. That is a, way. yeah, that's a great, her friend, unfortunately, in the lime green monstrosity no. with the stockings mm. too high. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's yeah, just, no. no. it looks like she came out in her pajamas. Uh, but the woman in the brown dress, that's, that's hot. That's, that's a club and that's 
It's club. Gorgeous. It's a club. It's a yeah. yeah. club. It's a clubbing yeah. outfit, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's true. Oh, that's oh, where kind of clubs I go to, but uh, definitely. And it's got yeah. a good, good cut. All right, cool. Going out for a ride on the bike. Yeah. All right. I don't know who you are, right. but rock on. Looks good. Uh, He's uh, rock on long right. sleeves. Um, she sounds familiar just... for some reason. Uh, Kate Hudson sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. No, she's been a lot of stuff, but okay. Yeah, she's out exercising. It's good exercise gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, coming um, out of Pilates, maybe forgotten parts of her outfit, maybe. Uh, well, it feels like uh, she just came out of a like a jazzercise or something. It says Daddy didn't love me enough. Mm. Can't be bothered to put like a like a skirt or like trousers on, but she's got a mask on. I mean, it... yeah, it is weird. Yeah, I, I feel like she's coming out of an exercise. She's got her thermos. Yeah, out. yeah, I guess. It's... I'm a cyberpunk guy, so I have no problem with the masks. You know, I'm like, okay, yeah, no, no, fair. I'm about time. Cool. I like the colored hair. It's just I'm sad that the wrong people picked it up. Yeah, it's true. I, Will... look, I have colored hair every now and then, and I'm not work, so. Will oh, still looking slick. He's still looking slick. <laughs> look at that guy, man. Yeah, that he's... guy, he is still the fresh prince. He's the fresh he king is. now. Uh, well, he's also a cuck, but we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Haley, what? Bieber? I, I don't understand is this the, the jacket over a hoodie. Gender version of Justin? No, that's Justin's wife. Why did Why he marry a dude? I didn't think he was gay. <laughs> uh, I know, he's actually a. a... She's actually a very attractive young lady. I don't know why she's dressed like a uh, accountant there, but she doesn't want to be noticed. I mean, she's incognito right now. But uh, for incognito costume, I actually have to give her props for uh, digging into the dumpster behind Goodwill. Uh, <laughs> if you want to go really, incognito, Eric, you're made of money. I didn't know that. Thank you very much, dude. I didn't know that was Goldie's uh, daughter, uh, Kate Hudson. All right. Well, there you go. See, I don't know much about celebrity. If you can't tell, my my wife was here. She'd talk your ear off, though. Um, I don't know who these people are, but they look good. Uh, yeah, it looks good. People. Yeah, it looks good. Looking yeah. good. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, Kanye, like you have enough money. Why do you need my wallet? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's right. got, his, <laughs> doing, he's got Kanye. his number one. Like they, they, they look like two henchmen for the evil overlord. They do. Overlord. I know. And I thought you were all like pro black stuff, uh, uh, Kanye. What are you doing with a white girl? Uh huh. Well, well, his ex is Kim Kardashian. So it's like, there you go. Here's, yeah. here's the main mover for the evil crime lord and his evil female femme fatale assassin. Dun, dun, dun. I suppose. Uh, but I thought he was part of that crowd of black people saying married black. I did. I thought he was. Uh, I don't know who this guy is, but yeah, yeah normal dude. Out for, out for a beer, it looks like. That, Friends called. I, they want their costume back. There you uh, go. There's another Kardashian. Well, a Jenner. To, to be fair, uh, that is a well-dressed nice girl. That is a well-dressed yeah, girl. That's yeah, that's sharp and yeah, sexy. Very sharp. Yeah. 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 Uh, I have heard her speak before, and she's an absolute nightmare of a human, but she can dress. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but eh, it's fine. Okay. What? Why? What is up with these <laughs> gangsters? Some of these, like, yeah, I didn't get it. wearing shoes? I know that I have money. I'm going to buy the worst clothes ever. <laughs> I think they are. Shoes. Yeah, there's no Boy, shoes. she's put a lot of weight on, dude. Oh, and and it seemed like a, the majority of her first weight went right to her tits. Her tits have grown ten sizes. Uh, I don't well, know. either the weight or the silicone went in there. Something the I, you know, come on, girl. Uh, you still around? I didn't even know you were alive. Yeah, he's in. Um, yeah. he's in. Uh, free guy. He, yeah, no, no, no I know. He is. Yeah, he's uh, um, uh, old Channing. They've never found a place to put him. They've never really found. No, he must have really him. pissed somebody off in L.A. because he was like rising star for a minute, and then they just cut the legs out from under him. And I just don't know why. I don't uh, understand what happened. Steen, um, uh. <laughs> he probably refused to give the wrong old Jewish man a blowjob, and uh, yeah, that was it. Go back, go back to no him real quick. See, Channing? folks. Yeah. yeah, this is what we call Seattle stoner chic. <laughs> is that what they call that? Okay. That's Seattle Stoner it's Sheik. like the normal dude going out, really. Uh, that's almost... his grunge style of the bomb. That's, yeah. I, that's but, definitely you know, the not cut of the grunge jeans. Style, the cut of the jeans with the uh, odd colored uh, hoodie to make you kind of stand out in a crowd with a simple utility shirt, probably that you use to wear at work. 
Well, what he know, looks like. He looks like he's going to just like like a warehouse or something to do a job. If you change <laughs> yeah. the shirt, this could be Cholo. If, yeah, well, you know, yeah, fashion is. Yeah. Oh, look, um, Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, of course, two nasty humans with each other. Great. Uh, yeah. I don't know who you are, but girl. Girl. Yeah. She's got hips and she knows how to use them. Oh, damn. Wow. That's, a, that's an attractive young lady. Uh, that's, um, we can't get her in a it. movie, though. Yeah. Oh, no, Tracy's still alive. It. I thought he had a heart attack or something. He did. No, he got he hit by a car. Oh, Didn't he that, get hit that, by a car? That, too. He was something in a bus. Him, yeah. Got a like four people on board the bus died and he was one of the survivors. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm glad he's all right. I'm glad he's all right. And it's a pretty girl he's with too. And I like Tracy. I always like Tracy. Yeah, he's funny. Uh, oh, once here again, we go again. Yeah, what now, this is the hell are you wearing? I have no oh, idea who these people are. They're like the old 3D glasses. Oh, look at that. Me. That's slick, dude. Who are you? I don't know who you are. But well, look at his that. name. I mean, you have to be with a name like that. Me love it. De me Miglia. Okay. Italian was a mistake. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Italian was Italian to me. Yeah. Oh, that's Roman. He's slick, though. You go, dude. Uh, uh, you know, try harder, whatever you are. Uh, eh, no. Oh, God, no. Uh, eh, okay, fine. <laughs> Wait, was that one of the day. garbage pail kids? I looked like it, didn't it? Uh, actually, this is a lot of fun. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know who. Oh, you, the idiot. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, he uh, is tiny. Holy cow. He is. Like, and it's too bad if he just shut his damn mouth because he was fine in the movie, dude. I mean, he was the most boring was. part, but I mean, he was fine, man. Just shut your mouth, you idiot. Yeah. I have no idea who you people are, but rock on. Because you look happy. Yeah. They look happy. Yeah, um, I like happy. It's yeah, a good you look, look. You look you look like this you, is normal. You, just, you just came out of the psych ward. Okay. Uh you girls, you oh here on the left, you Work need it. food. Eat a hamburger. Yeah. She's got that uh that gap. Do you guys like the gap? It depends. <laughs> It depends. It depends on the woman and how wide her thighs are on the other side. Yeah, I like a little bit, but that's a, that's that's a severe gap yeah. she's got going on there. It goes down uh, to proportional aesthetics. You know, for an older couple, I mean, he's nice very normal, square. but she's that's not bad for an older lady, dude. Yeah, no, that's, I would bang her. And I want to kick her out of bed for eating uh, crackers. And she's dressed. That's a nice outfit she's got going on. Yeah, I like it. She's got a sarong. It's a, it's called a it's, sarong. Well, it's, it's like a sarong. Chill beach wear. Yeah. yeah. And the, yeah, no, that's good beach wear. Yeah, actually, when, when my wife and I were traveling before we settled down in a, to make a family, uh, we of course went to a lot of beach places, and my wife wore dressed like that quite a bit. I like the look. It's a good look. It is uh, Drew Barrymore <clears throat> with a chicken. That chicken looks like a griffin. It does look a bit like Peter Griffin's chicken. Yeah. Oh, Drew. Uh, did she turn her life around, uh, Tank? What do you no. think? Yeah. Yeah, I think she did. I think she's just kind of doing her own thing. Uh, yeah, she's cause... got enough money to conservatively live off of, so she doesn't... She can have a good life with everything she's earned so far. I'm glad, but because, you know, she basically was the Miley Cyrus disaster before Miley Cyrus. Because uh, yeah. this girl went. And she's my age, man. Deep, dude. Uh, yeah, I know. You know? Yeah. That's some big ass flares. I'm glad she worked it yeah. out because my I God. love the ridiculous oversizedness of the jacket, too. It's funny. Another exerciser. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Hey, say that. Are they exercising? Because they all wear them. All the women they need wear, to girls wear them. They wear them. Corporation to yeah, steal it's... the next plans and sell them to a cyberpunk overlords. I know, right? Um, <laughs> it, it's not. They're not actually going to well, exercise. She's... They wear that normally. Yeah, you see them all oh. the time wearing shit like that. Well, well I do. Um, yeah. All the like uni students and stuff. I um, do appreciate yoga pants. My wife goes to uh, uh, jazzercise twice a week, and I appreciate. It. Yeah, you well, see a lot of girls. By God, so yes, that's, that's that. true. Yeah, that is fair. a lot of girls wear them around here. Well, in Nottingham, so if you see them all the time, obviously, like the well, yeah, say uni, a college uni girls. Can mm. someone tell me the gender of this individual? It looks like he's trying to go skating though with his stance. Look how he's standing. Is he like just trying dude? to push Are off and go sure? roller skating? No, sure I, I believe that's chick. a woman. It's a chick. A woman. I, think, yeah. I think it's a woman. Chick. That's a woman. Yeah. Either way, I know a female edge runner when I see one. Yeah, I, 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 the chest is giving it away. Um, but uh, yeah, there the, you go. You got those uh, yoga pants again. You're right. 
Uh, uh, they're a thing. They're a thing. Well, come on, he's at the beach. Leave him be. Um, yeah, uh, that's, just, that's just general surfwear. <laughs> yeah, <you> <laughs> uh, that's nice and classic. Uh, uh, I uh, okay, fine. Um, uh, I don't know who any of these people are. Uh, this looks normal. like a normal guy in the street. <laughs> oh, there's yeah, that girl person. again. Yeah, don't know who. Ooh, that I like is. the uh, '80s stripes. Those were critical. Oh, that's that's a cool outfit. I'm... Once again, they look like supervillains. They do, <laughs> yeah. uh, and she's a pretty girl. And, you know, good in the background, it looks good like for Kanye. Pop-ups. But I'm, I am bewildered because I swear Kanye was the one, one of those uh, black dudes that was having a conversation saying black men need to believe with black women. I'm sure he I looks, heard him on about that. He looks like he's going for yeah. the great Cornholio in that picture. He does. Uh-huh. I'm Cornholio. And I have and no problem either way, by the way. I mean, I, I'm in an inter, interracial relationship myself. Uh, but I I just swear he was one of those guys who was really banging on that dude. Yeah, anyway, no, I got to stop because we'll do this all day. Uh, so let's, uh... <laughs> it's the weirdest <laughs> tangent of a show ever. <laughs> yeah. I, I just thought it was funny. It's it, it, it it's interesting, isn't it? Um, it? Look at these celebrities and their whacked out attitudes. Uh, some of them well dressed, though. Uh, anyway. Uh, thank you all very much for coming in. Uh, that was fun. Uh, tomorrow, it looks like we're going to be starting up an ICRPG uh, campaign in Altered State, which is cyberpunk. Uh, so uh, come and check that out where Bill will be running. And we haven't done uh, 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 Index Card RPG uh, yet. It's very popular. It's been around for quite, quite a while. I think mm-hmm. for some I saw it was, uh, oh, geez, more than, de- more than a decade ago, right? Um, yeah. but, um, uh, it is fun system. It's very simple, straightforward, but it's also, it's got some coolness to it. you ever tried it, Tank? No, I haven't. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm, if I'm invited, I would love to join. Yeah. Come on in, dude. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, uh, it's got to be fun. Um, uh, the thing about, uh, uh, I, uh, I see RPG is it is a super, super simplified D20, right? But. Okay. It at the same t- even though it's wickedly uh, simplified, and I don't mean to a degree you wouldn't expect, right? At mm-hmm. the same time, it has some neat little quirks and things that you can do that you would never be able to do in a D20 system. I, I-, I think it's pretty cool. I- like I said, I saw it a decade ago, and I haven't thought of it since. But uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. Uh, I, I want to see how it works out, uh, especially uh, I'm going to be playing a character with rage dice. And how I can manage yeah. that. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, but uh, be fun. Yeah, I think it will be fun. Uh, but that's tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Tank, you got anything to say before we get out of here? Uh, everybody should go back Gun Demon on Indiegogo today. It's going to be amazing, dude. Like you saw earlier, it's amazing. We got Scalpel Zero coming out. Uh, nice. Free comic will be released on the net. So follow me on Twitter. Uh, and ask to sign up for my mailing list. I've got over 250 people signed up for that so far. So, uh, a free comic, free comic. Uh, and I'm launching a campaign for that. Then we've got Paul Roper's 21 Demons. We've got World War Hell, uh, which you wanted to see Franken Tanks earlier, right? Yeah. Uh, well, ask and ye shall receive. Uh, let me go ahead and grab. Oh, no, no. That's not it. Where there we go. Looks good though. So this is this is the Franken Fortress. Uh, as we t- dubbed it, it's made out of a submarine and tanks. We we start we kind of loosely place stuff in here, like how would we engineer this? How would it work? Put some people around there. So we do a lot of developmental work, but we've got the Franken tanks themselves. Oops. Uh oh, did I like grab all this stuff? Like here we got Dima, uh, Soviet. Um. You know, we get earlier we saw Prang, right? Yeah. We've got Dima. He's one of the Hellions. Yeah, the hat who... tells us he's Russian. Yeah, and well, he took a German helmet, and what he does is he puts his maker. He's our he's our MacGyver, right? <clears throat> Battlefield MacGyver with explosive charges on the outside of his shield. Um, and he goes out and salvages stuff, and when he fixes things, he puts a little maker's mark of the Soviet star. Sure. And it goes, it is Russian now. <laughs> Fair enough. As it as it should be. Uh <clears throat> where's the tanks? Um I'm 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 I am i am i am i i i downloaded a bunch of stuff. These are some more demons. Nice. Uh some more demons for that. Yeah, this is the stalker demon, a close up of that. Uh the drone That's as nice. well. 
This is for the tabletop um, game, I'm assuming. Yeah, and book. There's going to be books coming out in the uh-huh. whole shebang, man. Oh, dude, this upcoming coming Scalpel Zero campaign, I am also releasing a an 8-bit NES game that you can either download as a ROM or get a physical cartridge of. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, yeah, buddy. Bring in the heat. This is Celerity the Huntress. Uh, for the Brain Cage Continuous Universe, we have a continuous universe with several creators. Uh, oh, to include Stefani Rene. Can you play um, it on a, like a Raspberry emula- emulator? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The game, you'll be able to play it on any emulator. Um, it's an actual, like, uh, I learned how to program 6502 assembly uh, over the winter. Oh, I see. So I've got a, the first one is, it's a, I call it a Scalpelvania. It's like Castlevania, but with more firepower. Okay. We got yeah, yeah, you Stephanie showed us Rene. a little bit of it at before, I remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I gave That's a little a sneak peek That's a great looking here. character right there, dude. Oh, Stefani Renee's the scare of man. He is uh, our high tech vigilante for the Brain Cage Continuitous Universe. And we have Earth's Mightiest Human, a clone of, but still, the man himself, the legendary John Henry. Oh, the no. Earth's Mightiest Human. Uh, and he is mighty. And of course, we have Mighty Mechalore again. Uh, he's got like lots of different suits. We're going to trash a whole bunch of them. Uh, it's going to be great. And look at this beautiful design, dude. Like, Isan Fazeli really just, he nails it um, with this, just this functionality. Like, you could go, oh, okay, yeah, I, I, if I know 3D modeling, I could make that just from this one picture right here. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, very definitely. battle tech. And, of course, from Brain Cage Unlimited, because we, like Scalpel Zero, she's in the Unlimited Universe. Same thing with 21 Demons. They're individual creations, little little stories outside of continuity. Um, <clears throat> and we've got uh, Shadow Saint right here. Beautiful art, Stefani Brene and Paul Billick uh, doing the artwork for this. And I still have one last thing, and it's funny, because Pat Sajak is based. Uh, Anybody want to read this? Uh, it Go appears ahead. hashtag diplomacy is back. Go ahead, Thunder. Okay, again, I'm not looking at it. Too bad Twitter didn't exist prior to World War II. Hashtag hands off Sutenland could have changed everything. It's true. It's true. It would. It would have just definitely. I mean, Hitler would have been like, "Oh well, there's a hashtag now. I'm out. I'm good. That's <laughs> right. Stay here right. in my own place. I stand with Ukraine." <laughs> that's right oops i hit the wrong one i actually meant to go to that one there uh yeah little scalpel zero she coming the this the title of this piece is i hope those guns came with life insurance fair enough fair enough all right well thank you very much tank thank and you, uh love to see you back here tomorrow and of course you know you're welcome on the show anytime uh yeah. and uh rabbit you got anything to say man uh I guess not. Yeah, the show tomorrow and uh, Vestry on Thursday for DNK. That's right. That'll be oh, a lot of fun. Back for that. We're gonna I'm have gonna pickles and shabby, so they're both coming on. And, and I'm invited, right? Yeah, yeah, of dude. If you're not already, uh, if you're not, I'll look up your uh, status. If you're not already, uh, please so, yeah, do, cool. please do. Yeah, I, I, well, I wouldn't miss that for the world. As we all know, Shabby is my son from when I was in my young twenties. I went on a oh yeah rampage around I'm the world. It. Yeah, uh, you, you at least you got Shabby. They gave me JD. Yeah. Fuck's sake! I, I, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. come out and I gotta show up for my boy. Maybe his mom's uh, hot. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, hey, you guys doing your... yeah. Yeah, I got sorry. two minutes left. So, uh, Thundero, okay. please. I'm gonna do this one again because I like it, and I wrote it on my birthday. I just realized. See it in my little Discord, my little note-taking Discord that I have. It's a little poem, and it goes. What use is a nail if not hammered? What use is a seed if not sown? What use is a horse if not a horse if not horse? <laughs> a horse if not saddled. <laughs> oh, what that, use is a flag if not flown? <laughs> what use is a chime if not rattled? What use is a name if not known? Fair enough. Name of that poem is purpose. Namaste. Namaste. Later.